All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shabbat, Hashem, Kadosh. Peace, love, and salutations to you. You sincere Akim, uh, pushing the, the true gospel. All right, the new covenant, which is the new covenant, which is ultimately the reason why our Lord and Savior, all right, came to the earth. His main mission, all right, was to die for the sins to redeem, all right, Adam from the curses that was set and on a cross. Uh, he nailed those old curses, those old ordinances uh, with it, all right? And when he died, uh, we died, all right? The fleshly sins, the fleshly man who was resurrected was a new man, all right? And, 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 and this is what the, what the gospel is about. This is what the teachings was about in the first century, all right? This is the main message that was pushed, all right? The establishment, uh, the establishment of the new covenant, all right? The New Testament. All right, so right now you got, what you have throughout Israel is men, um, you got men holding the Passover, if you will, right? But in error, eating of that Passover, not understanding that Yahweh Shah Mashiach, he is the Passover. The blood that was shed, that was the blood, all right? The, carnally, we had to put the, the blood of the lamb on the doorpost, but the, lead, the blood he shed was the covering, all right, uh, 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 to, to protect us from the chaos, all right, which was gonna give us light. He was that manna from heaven. He was that angel's bread. He, he is that rock. We don't we don't uh, uh, rely on an actual rock, but he was that rock that was spoken of. He fulfilled the law and the prophets when he offered up himself, all right, to be, and now he sits on the right hand of our heavenly father as the mediator, the intercessor, all right, as the high chief priest, all right? So the, the things of foretime were only set up as a shadow of things to come right so that we could understand how things operate in the spirit so now he is our high chief priest but he could not have become the high chief priest if that old law wasn't done away with if the old order of the levitical i.e the levitical priesthood wasn't done away with yahweh shah mashiach could not be the high chief priest because as the scripture says it's evident that he sprung out of the tribe of judah all right a, a, a tribe which moses spake not, nothing concerning the priesthood. Underneath the Levitical priesthood, i.e. the Old Covenant, in order to hold as the, the, to be the, a high chief priest, you have to be of, of what? You have to be of the tribe of Levi, which proves we are no longer underneath the Levitical priesthood, but we're now underneath the order of Melchizedek. And that was the order that was established in the first century when uh, the scriptures talked about uh, uh, setting up that kingly priesthood. To back you, Hebrews 7 and 11, if therefore, if therefore perfection were by the Levitical priesthood, for under it the people received the law, what further need was there for that another priest should arise after the order of Melchizedek and not be called after the order of Aaron? For the priesthood being changed, there is made of necessity a change also of the law. So when men tell you that the law wasn't changed, right, they're telling you that Moses is still their intercessor. They're telling you that they still have a high chief priest that serve in earthly tabernacles. Our high chief priest serves in the heavenly tabernacle. It proves that they're carnal. It proves that they're not spiritual. It proves that they not have accepted the blood of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach to be their mediator. All right, go ahead. For he of whom these things are spoken pertaineth to another tribe of which no man gave attendance at the altar. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah for which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. So when you pray and you ask for forgiveness, you have to ask for, you could only ask for forgiveness in the name of Yahweh Shai underneath the new covenant. I.e. is the, re hence the reason why he came, right? Underneath the old covenant, when you wanted to uh, uh, receive uh, repentance for your sin, you had to do it in, with the blood of a bull, a bullock, a goat, a lamb. All right, and you had to offer it up to the priest. And once a year, you would offer it up to the high chief priest. All right, on the day of atonement, the high chief priest would enter into the holies of the holies. All right, and he would eat of that lamb. All right, while the rest of the world would be sacrificing. Go ahead, bro. Let me get three more. It says, and it is yet far more evident for that after the similitude of Melchizedek, there ariseth another priest who is made not after the law of a carnal commandment, but after the power of an endless life, for he testified, thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Yeah, so this goes back to the beginning. It goes back to the book of Psalm. All right, when Mosai testified that Yahweh Shah was going to be made, all right, the priest forever, right? Because in the old world, what happened? 
you served as a high chief priest until you died. So it was hereditary, it was passed on until about the time of some corruption came in and it was paid off and uh, Ananias and uh, Joseph Caiaphas was actually put in there uh, by the Romans. But that's how, that's how it operated. You would serve until you die. This Yahweh Shah Mashiach, since now he lives forever, he's never going to die. So what, what, what Yahweh Shah did was he established a more perfect priesthood, all right, an unbreakable priesthood, not in an earthly tabernacle in which that veil rented when Yahweh Shai died, but at a heavenly tabernacle. So this is what we're preaching. If I may mention too, the physical uh, tabernacle was also a, a reference of, of the spiritual tabernacle, even before. You know, that's why you read Ele uh, Revelation 11 chapter, it talks about the temple that was, uh, that the Ark of His Testament was there. It always been there. You know, it was just fashioned after what was in the heavens, and then Yahweh Shai came back to reclaim his position, which is the true high priest. Right, no. which would tell you that, what proves that is, um, you know, as a matter of fact, it tells you that also in the book of Hebrews, how at first Abraham paid tithes to who? No, to Melchizedek. No. Way before they said, the scriptures say uh, uh, Levi was in the loins of, of Abraham. So Levi hadn't even uh, uh, been uh, born or established yet. All right? I want to read this real quick. Right? Yep. It says, according to the Bible, this is from Google, right? It says, according to the Bible, the tabernacle is based on the heavenly temple or God's dwelling place. The tabernacle, also known as the tent of meeting, is a series of divine sanctuaries that shows God's way of being present with his people through Yahweh Shai. The tabernacle's blueprint are given unto Moses on Mount Sinai, and it's meant to point to the way, it's just point the way to God, the Father, through Yahweh Shai. The tabernacle overturns the misconception that God's holiness prevents him from being near human sin, instead showing that God's purpose is to live among his people. Right. So, like you said, like uh, the blueprint was given unto Moses, and that's why you had that physical tabernacle that they built, but it was all fashioned, like the scripture says, uh, 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 um, what is it, the Lord's Prayer says, on, 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 on earth as it is, yeah, uh, that kingdom done. that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Oh. So always been there. So Yahweh shall position of being high priest always was there. You know, he just allowed it to happen down here, and he came back to claim that. Right. Yeah, the if I mean, too, like the Lord was working transition, like certain things need to accomplish before certain things can be, can be done. Yeah. And that's exactly when Yahweh Shai came, that was the time for the true priesthood to be established. Yep. Your true tabernacle is your, is your temple, which is your body. And the ultimate purpose is for Yahweh Shai to dwell in you. And that's what it means to uh, for him to dwell in us and us in him and for him to dwell with the, with the people. Once that's fulfilled totally, they let them come up and let them come down. But go ahead, bro. Tell, I'm back what you were saying, yep. Hebrews 7 and 4. Yep. Now consider how great this man was, unto whom even the patriarch Adam gave the tent of the spoils. And verily, they that are the sons of Levi. Adam who, Abraham. Abraham. Abraham, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, I'll lock y'all him. Yeah. Hebrews 7 and 4 again. Now consider how great this man was, unto whom even the patriarch Abraham gave the tenth of the spoils. And verily, they that are the sons of Levi, who received the office of the priesthood have a commandment to take tithes of the people according to the law, that is, of their brethren, though they come out of the loins of Abraham. But he whose descent is not counted from them received tithes of Abraham, and blessed him that had the promises. And without all contradiction, the less is blessed of the better. And here men that die receive tithes, but that he receiveth them, of whom it is witness that he liveth. Uh, so um, we want to we want to go into Second Ezra's the first chapter because the, the lesson that we want to um, and Lord's will that you know is edifying. It, it, you brothers will leave with the note with the understanding. Yashal isn't promised salvation. All right, this is this is very keen and very key, right? And not only are we not promised salvation, the scriptures say the opposite. It says we should have been as Sodom and Gomorrah. So we really, in our, in our, in our, our works, uh, deserve destruction, right? Mm -hmm. So, so, you know, when, 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 when what was that? John the Baptist was on the scene, yep. and he saw the, the, uh, the scribes and the Pharisees coming, you know, he said, look, say not within your heart that, you know, we are Abraham's children. So Heavenly Father is able to rise up stones to be Abraham's children. All right, we're not, we're, uh, Yahweh saw my shot. Go ahead, give me what you yeah, got. This is uh, Matthew John, 3. 4, 4, real quick. Let me start at verse uh, 5. It says, There went up uh, to him Jerusalem and all Judea and all the regions round about Jordan, and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. When he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees, 
come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generations of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits meet for repentance, and think not to say within yourself, We have Abraham uh, to our father, for I say unto you that the Most High is able to uh, able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. Yeah, now what wrath was he wanting them to come? It wasn't a carnal wrath, right, or a carnal weapon, all right? It was the destruction of their souls. So don't say within yourself, you have Abraham as a father. Give me John chapter 8, verse 44. Oh, hold we, second, that's it. Pick a good spot, bro. John 8, verse 39. Yep. They answer and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Yeah. And how is said unto them, if you are Abraham's children, you will do the, the, the works of Abraham. Yeah, uh, Abraham is our father. Yahweh said, if you was of Abraham's, uh, if Abraham was your father, you would do the deeds of Abraham, right? Go ahead. But now you seek to kill me. Yeah, but you seek to kill the man that was coming to bring you everlasting life. Go ahead. A man that had told you the truth, uh -huh. we shall have heard of God. This did not Abraham. Yep. He do the deed of your father. Then said they to him, we be not born of fornication. Yep. We have one father, even God. Go ahead. Yahweh shall say unto them, if God were your father, you would have loved me. Yep. For I have proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of hey, myself, uh, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because he cannot hear my word. Ye are your father the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and a boat not in the truth. Yeah, so here you have these people again, uh, boasting in the fact that they're Abraham's seed, right? But Yahweh Shai told him that they was of their father the devil. And then he will go on and say uh, in another uh, verse, uh, um, you know, you are wicked in adulterous generations of vipers and snakes. How can you, uh, how can you um, escape the damnation of hell? All right, so these were Israelites that he was speaking to. All right, when he said, the thief cometh not but to steal and to kill, those were Israelites that he was speaking to. All right, when the scriptures say they defiled, um, uh, they broke in the covenant. No, nope, they broke in the covenant. They defiled, uh, the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, right? That, that was talking about Israelites who was given the covenant, right? Who was given that the power and dominion. Seek the change. When you go to that first covenant, it was them it was us that was given that to, and it was told to us that if we was to obey and to hearken, we would be blessed above the nations, right? But if we didn't, right, we would be cursed above the nations, and the other nations would come upon us. And not just us, but the animals uh, fell underneath that curse when we fell. The animals fell underneath the curse when Adam fell, all right? So the, the reason why your woman is in the, in, the, in the state that she's in is because of you as a man. That's, that's your responsibility. That's your fault. When you go to Habakkuk and it talks about how the law is slack and judgment doesn't go forth, it wasn't because Esau was ruling over us. It was because you had wicked scribes and Pharisees and, and corruptions and Sadducees and, 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 and wayward doctrines in the nation of Israel that has caused this, right? So now we living in a time in which the blame game is all throughout Israel. Right, you want to hide from your sins or hide because it, it proves that they have the blood of Yahweh Shah Machiak on their hands because that's um that's uh, what's that called in, in, in a, a criminal court when you try to um you try to hi t tamper with evidence you know you try to hide witnesses or you try to point the blame somewhere else right the blame needs to start that's why when you read the book of 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 Romans it talks about thou um, excusable man you know when you go judge. You're supposed to judge yourself first and foremost. I was gonna say uh, kind of really. that, that saying. It says uh, the first step to recovery is, is, is accepting. Oh, but once again, if we realize what we went off at, and you know we try to fix within ourselves, then we can go out there and start to heal and be built up the right way. Yeah. You know exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, Pontius Pilate tried to wash his hands with the blood of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, right? But it was Jacob, it was Israel that was that didn't want to re release him. They would rather a murderer or a thief. To be released before he was right they said crucify him crucify him and, and Pontius Pilate made it Anitamite made it clear and you guys hate to hear that y'all hate to hear that he made it clear like look man I don't want nothing to do with this man's blood you got something bro yeah it tells you in Hosea 5 and 15 it says I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face so I, I wanna I wanna you know you got men right 
your, your main thing is Esau, 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 right? And why aren't you prophesying about the destruction, the destruction, the destruction, right? The reason why we don't care about that per se right now in this time is because the Bible gives us a clear instruction manual as what it is that the Lord is looking for us to do. There are angels legit that are holding the winds of destruction. They're not going to uh, uh, break that command until the elect repents, until the elect is sealed with what? That the wah, which is the uh, a mark of an exitment, right? Which goes back to what? The new covenant, all right? That blood of Yahweh Shai. That's, this is what this is about. And then everything else is going to come into play, all right? Um, so, 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 so let's let's go into uh, Second Ezra. Second Ezra, Second Ezra, chapter one, verse one. The second book of the, of the prophet Ezra, the son of Sarias, the son of Azariah, the son of Helchis. Start at four. Uh, was it four, bro? Yeah, four. Yeah, 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 four. Start at yeah. four. Uh, second Ezra, chapter one, verse four. The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Go thy way, and shew my people their sinful deeds, and their children their wickedness, what they have done against me, that they may tell their children's children, because the sins of their fathers are increased in them, for they have forgotten me, and are offered unto strange gods. So, so what was commanded of Ezra, right, and us in this time, is to go your way, hold that, keep that up there, bro, to go your way, right, and tell the children of Israel, uh, warn them of their sins. Isaiah 58 and 1, cry aloud and spare not. Lift up, thy, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Yep, go ahead, keep going, bro. Am, am not I even he that brought them out of the land of Egypt? Go ahead. From the house of bondage? Yep. But they have provoked, they provoked me unto wrath. So the heavenly father delivering us is a small thing to him. He's already has done this countless of times. He's proven to us over and over and over again. It's nothing for us to. Uh, it's nothing for him to deliver us out of captivity. What what we haven't proven to him is that we could repent and remain and 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 and, and uh, 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 able able to to hold it to receive what it is that he's given us. Right. Go ahead, bro. And despite my counsel, who thou often the hair of thy head and cast all evil upon them for they have not been obedient unto my law but as rebellious people how long shall I forbear them to whom I have done so much good many kings have I destroyed for their sake Pharaoh was his servant and all his power have I smitten smiting down yeah so many kings have I destroyed for their sakes yeah. you guys talking about the death of Babylon you want Babylon to be destroyed so much it's a light thing for him to uh to give a decree to the angels and to put the spirit on of Vladdy over there to destroy this place within 24 hours to wipe to annihilate this place right well when we are calling when we need help in the scriptures say that the field is a plentison but the laborers are few you guys are working against uh, uh, against uh, the marking of the children of Israel by holding men to the flesh by telling them they underneath the old covenant you got to keep the laws of Moses to the best of your ability. That's crazy. You're holding men to the flesh. You're, 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 you're counter, you're, you're, that's counterproductive to what we're trying to do. You're saying that Yahweh Shah Mashiach came down for no reason. And that we need, he died in vain and that we need new bodies in order for us to receive the Holy Spirit. So you guys want to take that old same dirty spirit and get a new body with the same broken lahab, the same broken heart and receive a new body, but you won't accept the blood of Yahweh Shai uh, as death on the cross, that he nailed those uh, slushy fins to the cross, that we may return back to him. You don't want to cleanse out your temple so that he could dwell in you, but you want to reject, you want to hold the carnal Passover and eat the lamb when he already has, he, he already completed that. You holding men to the flesh, you holding men to Moses, right? By doing what you're doing, holding men to a carnal law, which you, nor your forefathers couldn't keep. That's why in the New Testament, when the Gentiles was coming in, it was given to them basic things, to abstain from things offered to sacrifices, right? Idols and uh, fornication. It was simplified. Why was Stephen, Stephen was, was martyred because they accused him of blasphemy Moses. So if Stephen was pushing Moses, the Pharisees would have never put him to death. 
They would they they use the law to put Yahweh Shah Mashiach to death. The, the the fight in the first century was because of the pushback against the Levitical priesthood. The ushering of the order of Mount Chesedek, which was totally against what they was pushing uh, concerning the, the scribes and the Pharisees. Go ahead, bro. All the nations have I destroyed before them, and in the east I have scattered the people of two provinces, even a Tyrus and Sidon, and have slain all their enemies. Speak thou therefore unto them, saying, Thus saith the Lord. I led you through the sea, and in the beginning gave you a large and safe passage. Yeah, when I, he led us through the sea, gave us safe passages, he totally annihilated the Egyptians. He will go on to the, the Amorites, the Ammonites, the Edomites, right? The Jebusites, the Hittites, the Hittites, right? Then he will go on to annihilate the Assyrians, annihilate the Persians, annihilate the Greeks, annihilate the Romans, right? Destroying stuff is, is in, it's nothing to him. Yeah, the Lord, the Lord is a man of war, right? <laughs> yeah. So I that's nothing to him. <laughs> I gave you Moses for a leader and Aaron for a priest. I gave you light and a pillar of fire, and great wonders have I done among you. Yeah, have you forgotten me, saith the Lord? Yeah, you've forgotten them, so go ahead. Thus saith the Almighty Lord, the world where I lay tokens to you, I gave you tents for your safeguard. Nevertheless, he murmured there, and triumphed not in my name. For the destruction of your enemies, but ever to this day do ye yet murmur. What a benefit that I have done for you. When you were hungry and thirsty in the wilderness, did you not cry unto me, saying, What hast thou brought us into the wilderness to kill us? It had been better for us to have served the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. Then, then, I, then had I pity upon your mourning and gave you manna to eat. So did ye angels pray. When you were thirsty, did I not leave the rock? The waters flowed out to your fill. For the heat, I covered you with the leaves of the tree. I divided among you a fruitful land. I cast out the Canaanites, the Pharisees, and the Philistines before you. What shall I yet do more for you, saith the Lord? Thus saith the Lord, Almighty Lord, when you were in the wilderness, and the rivers of Amorites, being a third, and blaspheming my name, I gave you not fire for your blasphemy. Yeah, when you was in the wilderness, just blaspheming the, the name of the Heavenly Father, cussing out Moses, the man that just delivered you. Uh, 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 you seen the miracles that the Heavenly Father performed in walking through the Red Sea, right? Delivered you out of captivity. The Lord said, I didn't give you fire. I should have gave you as fire for your blasphemies, but I didn't give you fire. I was going to say, right here, the, you know, the Lord's talking this, you know, in a way, he sounds hurt in a way. Like, yeah, he did all that. Yeah. You know, and, and then you got Jake wondering why there's a hell. Because look what you're doing over it, time and time again. How many times... You know, it gets to a point where it's just, you just, the whole head is sick. The head to the soul is just, you know, and I don't, you know, it just, it, I can see people understand. Now you got to understand why there's a torment in place for people like that. Because you just yeah. don't get it. You can't get yeah, right. You can't like, get right. <laughs> because like, the Lord people, yeah, because yeah. like these people, they don't want to repent. Like you can't do nothing with those people like that. You know what I'm saying? It just destroy, Lord, destroy, 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 yeah, yeah. destroy. It's yeah, like, yeah. Uh, like you said, genie in no bottle. They just call upon the Lord just to help them out in the time in that time. And, and the next you know, you know, was everything good? They just forget about it. It happens today, man. It happens today. It's the same concept that they was doing back then. Yeah, man. It tells you in Romans, even though there's other precepts, two and twenty-four tells you. For the name of the Lord is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you, yeah, so, as it is written. Yeah, so it's, it's Israel that's fucked, that blasphemes yeah. the name of the Lord throughout everybody else. We're supposed to be a Tazai on a monument. People are supposed to look at us and be like, oh, shoot. That's the Lord's people. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. Lord's people. People don't look at us and say, oh, shit, that's, we're, we're despised for a reason. Yeah. Look how Jake acts. But you, I like to blame everybody else for your actions. It's crazy. Scripture says that our sins have succeeded or passed the, the deeds, deeds of the, the wicked. wicked. But every week is Esau, Esau, Esau. Like he set up to bust you <laughs> niggas upside the head for a fucking reason, man. And he didn't even get started yet. He didn't even get started yet, man. He, he, you ain't see nothing yet, man. That's the destruction from the Lord. Um, I, I was gonna say, like, if he, let's say Esau in America, let's say America is destroyed, right? And we go back to the, let's say we're going back to Israel. It's not Esau or the Babylon's issues, are, it's us as a whole, as a nation. The only reason why we're here is because of us. Right. So even if America is destroyed, we want to destroy it, but it's like, you wouldn't want to be purified. Forget the destroy. I mean, right. we wanted to be destroyed, but like, you want to be you cleansed. Want to clean, yeah. Cleanse yourself. Right. You should be focused on cleansing yourself, yes. Lord. Instead of um, put more energy into you wanting your, your spirit to be cleansed, 
than America being destroyed because it's not America that's the issue, it's us. I got, I got, I got a quick one. Uh, second Ezra 14 and 13. It says, uh, Second Ezra 14 and 13. Now therefore set thine house in order and reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. Yeah, the scripture said, uh, set thy house in order. First, you a lot of you men can't even control your own your own abodes, yeah, yeah, yeah. your own bodies. A lot of y'all lasciviousness, y'all are fucking uh, whoremongers, right? Y'all are just angry vessels, mad at the world. So you take that out on your children, your wives, you know what I'm saying? You can't even control yourself. Well, you're supposed to control yourself, right? Get yourself right and then look to your neighbor. You know what I'm saying? Look to your bro and be like, yo, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then y'all supposed to get right and then it's, this thing starts within. You know what I'm saying? You niggas is looking to people that's outside of the nation. We can't even present a, an ambassador to these people as a, a representative for our nation because our, it's it's nothing but Shaniqua and Tyrone that that that, that are just creeping havoc throughout the earth with no accountability at all. Yeah. No accountability. What's that saying? Uh, each one teach one. Yeah. As yeah. it should be, right? You learn the lesson and you go push that lesson on the next person, so they. Can, uh, can they, they receive it and then it continues on. That's that's how it's supposed to be. If I mean, uh, everybody gets in the right mind. Yeah, the scripture says too, yeah, how can a man rule the world if he does have his own soul under sub, uh, house under sub, uh, subjection? Yeah. You gotta be able to rule your, yourself first and then you can rule the world, you know? It says that, um, uh, the scripture says, uh, if a man don't know how to keep his house in order, how can he rule, uh, be a ruler in the church? You know what I'm saying? So once again, you have to first start with yourself. Self accountability yeah. is what we're lacking, man. Mm -hmm. Verse 14. Let go from the mortal thoughts and cast away the burdens of men. Put off now the weak nature. Yeah, because blaming somebody is yeah, a weak nature. Yeah, yeah. You'll do an hour, uh, two hour lesson on a yeah. nigga woman. That shit is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. You're talking, you know, the woman is a follower. Yeah. You're the head, so why are you more mad at her than us? Than, you're, than the other man that's yeah. making her into that. Like, yeah. a whoremonger is a man who turns a woman into a whore. Right. You know, you should you're be mad a whore, at You're an whoremonger and making lessons on whores. You don't want to yeah, you, you, you're taking part of the problem. Man. Yeah, you are part of the problem. You are part of the issue. You a deadbeat dad talking about uh, uh, single moms, bro. Make yeah. it make sense, man. Uh, verse 15, to set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste thee to flee from these times. It says, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. So it says, uh, uh, haste to, make, uh, to flee from these times. Once again, you got to run and get that new covenant, bro. You got to run and uh, get that blood uh, on your doorpost. It's like it was in the ancient time, but it's through Yahweh Shai. You know, you have to receive that, man. Yeah, just, like, and, uh, just like the church. Just like, just like uh, when Paul was preaching, like the next day, the whole, the whole city, the whole yeah, new city yeah. came out to hear the word. That's how you got to be. In the vacuum, because when you go into that precept about measuring the time diligently, if you start up, it's basically telling you to cleanse yourself and get your body basically ready so that when the Lord comes, you're found worthy yeah. to escape these right. things. Ain't nothing to do with no doing three shows on how he saw That's not being diligent. Yeah. It's talking about, uh, what is it, uh, Ch 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 Charity? Yeah. Yeah. It says, uh, set a mark upon the foreheads of the men inside that cry, which yeah. is a, a separation between the rest of the people that's coming to get uh, a smite, that's going to get destroyed. You want to make sure you have that mark so the angel don't look at you and look at as an enemy. Instead, he's like, I'm going to preserve this individual. He just turned a blind eye to you, you know? Yeah, but if I may add too, because we had brought out a camp, we had went into... When Yahweh Shai was telling them, you should hear wars and rumors of words, um, rumors of wars. We went into the blue letter showing that that word, when he said, be not troubled, he's basically saying, don't cry right. out. Don't, don't, don't speak about right, those things. Right, right. Speak that's about how to tell our people to right, repent right. because those are signs that the Lord is about to come back right, and judge this place. Right. So you would rather warn your people on oh, that shit. judgment. Not, oh shit, a bridge fell <laughs> down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> where, where, where in the gospels was they, you could only imagine, it was all kind of stuff that was yeah. happening in the Roman Empire in the first century. Chariots falling apart. It was all kind of stuff that was fought. <laughs> yeah, all kind of stuff that was barbarians invading. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like all kind of shit, you know? It, what, what was the breaking news? The bridge, a bridge falls down and you niggas lose your fucking they mind, say, man. Say, yeah, we almost in Jacob's trouble. Some saying we are in Jacob's yeah. trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, giving out false news reports, man. Whoever's measuring the time diligently, they need to take the ruler from that man, man. He's not, come on, man. Go ahead, bro. I was going to say that, you know, you got men desiring the day of the Lord, 
but you don't know what type of spirit you're going to be in in that day. Yeah. So, you know, you should focus on getting your mind right exactly. for that day yeah. instead of rushing it. Yeah, you yeah. know, you don't know when it could happen. You know, yeah. you're walking around, boom, the Lord chariots are there. Yeah, yeah. He's What's looking at you. He's looking at everybody. <laughs> you're hey. like, yeah, what's hey, with this trying yeah. to predict? You know what I'm saying? Dude, so that, that question was that question was asked one time in the first century. Lord, without now at this time, restore the kingdom of heaven. And he said, it's not for you to know. You're not going to see that ever happening again where they you got men trying to predict the time. The reason why you had the book of, uh, was that second uh, Thessalonians? When it was like, um... Everybody's not, uh, they say that you're going to work in darkness. Yeah, yeah. yeah where it talks about the coming of the day of the Lord. Yeah, um, because if you had men that was Paul wrote a letter the first Thessalonians like yo the, 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 the be cool your house size coming you had men that was quitting their jobs waiting on the rooftops waiting for your house and then Paul wrote the second letter like yo chill yep. I didn't tell y'all that he was coming right away that they should not come unless there be a falling away he gave a list yeah, of, yeah. of things that had to have happened right so you had you already had those bug outs that was in the world that was talking about yeah you know 800 and sunset days until the end of, of, of such and such, like that's not the spirit to be in, man. You said men putting their jobs, you got men that's literally putting their lives on pause, waiting, yeah. and next thing you know, it's time, you know what I mean? It's time building up to it. Like, you gotta, right. man, that's crazy. That's why when you go to the, the second Thessalonians, the third chapter, it says, if a man don't work, he don't eat. Yeah. Because what was happening was, people was quitting their jobs, quitting their lives, and naturally the people in the church was taking care of them. So Paul was like, yo, this ain't, no, 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 you guys got this messed That's up. You got to, yeah, yeah, you got to, yeah, you've been a burden on somebody. You got to get your, get your stuff together. It's okay to get your stuff together. Get your, get your, get your license, get your ID, mm -hmm. get your apartment, get out your mom's house, yeah, take care of your children, yeah, get yeah. you a job, yeah, go for that job. promotion. Yeah. These guys t telling you this bullshit, that right? You go to school. You yeah, you go to school. Out. You're not a man of the Lord or some dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? And then you all <laughs> fucked up, right? That, come on, man. That's not what, that's not what this thing is about. And they own whips and shit, bro. Yeah, we gotta call it yeah, wrong, you, bro. You, we you, gotta you keep got it five wrong. cars and the brothers in your camp is taking the goddamn busted. That's off, man. What I say? What I say? Not as I do. Like that's basically what it is. Your mom doing it. Yeah, I'm not doing it, though, but you're gonna do it. Right, right, that's right, right. right. That was the issue with the Pharisees, right? Being yeah, hypocrites. Yeah. yeah. The Pharisees, like they're doing them today. That shit is wild, bro. It you is. don't got no car, but home, your buddy got five cars. That's wild. That's wild. You got great credit out there telling Jake to max out their credit, max out your credit cards because at the end of the world is coming. What an 800 credit score, 750 credit score, yeah. buying homes, taking telling trips. Jake not to buy homes. <laughs> yeah, camping and shit, yeah. taking trips. A whole Uncle Phil and you telling men to, to fuck your kids. That's bullshit, man. That shit is hypocritical. Hypocritical and men just coming in with the woe is me spirit. And dragging feet. Yeah, dragging their feet. And you playing along with them. Yeah, like, you yeah, it's yeah, tough. yeah, come on. It's tough. Just endure. Tough. On some fucking TD Jake shit. You, you don't got enough faith, man. You're yeah. lacking in faith. Throw this seed hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking bullshit. Last taking that man's last. This man on a fixed income paying we supposed to be taking care of the elderly. That's how that goes. When you go and tell what they were doing the in widows, the temple and the widows, the widows the that, that food was the, stored up for them. Children, yeah. yeah, pay your tights, pay your tights. This man's on a fixed income, social security. Oh, he's on his way out the door. What are you taking from him for? I got something real quick, bro. Um, and then it's like here, bro, because when you go to the book of James, they say, well, they, they like to use uh, James 1 and 1, right? To the scattered Israelites, right? To Israel. But as soon as it makes mention of you fucking hirelings that are taking money, that's talking about Esau. The rich man, yeah. The rich man is Esau. That's not oh, it's twofold, Op. You ain't got no understanding. Which one is it? James was speaking to you niggas. They say, they say it's the wrong <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Slack here, brother. Slack here, bro. Matthew 23, verse 2. Uh, my, my, verse 1. Then speak your house charge to the multitudes and, and his disciples, saying, The scribe and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Therefore, whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do, but do not do ye after the works, for they say and do not. Yeah, they go, keep going. For they say and do not. Yeah, for they bind heavy burden and grievous to be born and lay them on men's shoulders. Yeah, you telling men not to ride around with guns. Do you ride around with guns? 
You telling men not to buy houses. Do you buy houses? Do you do the things you tell men not to do? You play spurting, you, you, on, you on the beach with some shorts on telling men not to wear shorts? It's okay for you to put the bike helmet on and you know, the little GoPro and exercise, but the, you basketball player niggas are gonna be destroyed? That's, that's weird. You know, that's weird. That's, that's hypocrisy. That's the stuff that Yahweh Shah was speaking out against, man. You basketball. What the fuck basketball playing? What, what that got to do with your yeah, salvation? Yeah. You can't play basketball? Oh, you uh, Carl Winslow niggas. In the you middle of basketball, you stop. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but hey, but if you're feeling horny, go ahead and buy you a Harley. Y'all make, make that make sense. But now rape is the, um, the, topic? Yeah, the topic of discussion. But God forbid you play basketball. That's the that's the deep things of the scriptures with rape. But you tell men about hell that they have to pay, like Ezra said, little do men know they commit iniquity, but they gotta pay for it after death. Like, nah, 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 we can't go into that. Oh, that's bug out shit. Oh, that's uh Christian, Christian dogma, dogma, dogma or Roman, or Roman Catholicism yeah. when hell give me give me that and um give me that because your brother uh, you said something. Hey, sometimes you try to get into something, man, the spirit be like, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to address something else real quick that's going on that I don't like around Israel. Um, go ahead, bro. Continue on. Oh, matter of fact, go ahead. Continue on, bro. It says, all their forwards, wherever they bid you observe, observe and do, but do not eat after their works, for they say and do not. Yeah, they for, say they don't do not. Go ahead. For they bind, uh, for they bind heavy burden and grievous to be born, and lay them on men's shoulder, but they themselves. Yo, you got men move. that are stressed out, for real, for real, stressed out. Health issues. Yeah, I, yeah. It, health issues literally man said i stopped playing basketball and gang brother you gang like damn near 100 pounds since then no exaggeration health issues like the scripture talk about our forefathers having li liver problems because of having hatred in their soul that legit gives you headaches bro having so much hatred and anger inside you it gives you headaches men pissing out blood that's a health issue that you got because you're so and rage, you got this burden that's upon you yeah. that that the Yahweh Shai said my burden is light. Yeah. Burning bridges, you know, um, even with your children, you know, being a tyrant in your house, a lion in your own household, you know, you can be establishing a, a, a good relationship with you and your child, but then again, you just you, you so you so locked into being angry all the damn time to the point where the kids don't even want to be around you. Nobody want to deal with you. You know, that shit's not right. Yeah, your mother forsaking your mom. But you got to take, but, but it says set your house in order, right? But you got to take care of your family. You got to go out there and provide. Like, come on. You make it make sense, man. It's crazy. And then when you, we come out and tell you this, is, you know what? What are you going to say about us? We tell you to do the right thing. We wax around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, go ahead. It says, uh, and it says, uh, but they themselves will not move them with one of the fingers. What all the works do they do for us to be seen of men? Yeah, they do things to be seen of men, man. Everything is for camera. For sure. For sure. The rubber meets hit the road. Ha 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 ha. The rubber it meets the road, and you know where to be found. You know where to be found. It's all for camera. Get in front of the camera, and it's just that it's. You know, it's A, B, C, D, and then once the cameras go off, it's a whole different person. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. yeah you tap out. You don't even take that accountability when the rubber meets the road, bro. Let's talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a very high and dry. It says, uh, but all the works do they do to be seen of men, they make broad the phylactery. That, that's that old covenant shit, though. Um, making broad your phylacteries, wanting to be seen on the outside, yeah. you know? Want to be presentable. Wanna, yeah, want to be presentable and wanting a position of power over people. That's what this is about, having power over people. So, so, so the book of Hebrews, we can't substantiate it because I'm the high chief priest. I need this yeah, you, power over right? people. And then to say that you don't know who wrote the book of Hebrews. Yeah. But then again, it's in the scriptures for a reason. You know, right. like, come on now. Right. You we don't, don't know who, who, we who wrote We don't the, know the author. 
Like, come on, that don't make no sense. So what happened to the whole world? Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't know what Paul's right is not authoritative, right? But Paul came under your house shot. He was yeah. taught directly from your house shot. Yeah. What do we do? We just cast Paul out the way? <laughs> you just take away everything that Paul said? Like, come yeah, on, man. man. It's not, it's not authority? So, 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 so basically, Paul wrote majority of the New Testament so you basically Old Testament. That's basically what you're saying. So you just spirit. They don't believe the New Testament. Old, uh, uh, Old Testament. You know what I mean? You just that's it. That's all you're dealing with. Huh. And when you go into that blue letter, that you know it saying? tells you that the Testament means covenant. They yeah. don't believe in the new covenant. We don't in the new covenant. to it. Yahweh yeah. Shai died in vain. He's not the high chief priest. It's the sign of the times. I, I don't have something, but if you want to get the Galatians, yeah, uh, you want me to bring it up? Go ahead. Get, get, get yeah. what you have. Bro. Grab yours, because mine's a little bit weird. He asked for Galatians too. Oh, what did he say? I was taught of no man. Would Paul say that? I was taught of you. I was taught. It was Galatians 1. Uh, Let's go to Galatians 1. Go ahead. Oh, I was sure. going to say that uh, men who hold on to the old covenant are going to be held by the law, the 613 law. On the, day of, on the day of judgment, the Lord may ask them, like, did you keep, he may even name them all, all 613 laws to that man and say, did you keep this law? Did you keep this law? They're going to be sitting there like, and he's gonna show you images and the of the time you didn't keep. You got the mixed fabrics. And who and asked him who made an intercession? Who, who who gave up that sacrifice for you? You know, in the process of that. You know what I'm saying? Because you in the old covenant, you need a high priest. So if you can't hold all 613, who's making that sacrifice for you? If you don't have that cleared up, then you got an issue on you. You're not even <laughs> making atonement for your sins. Yeah. Where's the where's the total dove? I bet they're not sacrificing dove. No, they're no. not sacrificing they lamb. Yo, they can't they even can't do it themselves. Yeah. That's, the the That's the only they time they talk about. You gotta be a Levite. Gotta be a Levite. That's the only time they talk about the new like, covenant. That grace, even though Paul lets you know that yeah, there's no grace and faith in the old law. That came after. We need a Levite. Take it out as well. It's just not gonna work. It's crazy. Then you gotta worry about Esau saying you got animal abuse in the backyard. Oh, you know, right? sacrifices, the Satanists. You, you know, go you gotta, you gotta find an unblemished lamb. Right. Now there's a process to that. You just can't just scoop up any lamb. Right. There's a process to that. Right. Now you gotta find a Levite, the high priest to be exact. And man, come on, man. Come on, man. Like Yahweh Shah just made it. Oh, believe upon him. They made a curse on you. They made a curse on you. Believe upon him. He knew it was going to be in a situation like this. He knew it was, it was hard for us. We couldn't keep the old law. So obviously he had to do what he did. Yeah, Come on, man, I had a section of Isaiah just to show the sign of the times. Yeah, go ahead. Come on, this is from the ascension of Isaiah. It says, And the beloved sitting on their shoulders will come forth and send out his 12 disciples. Yep, the beloved is Yahweh Shah mm -hmm. All right. Real quick, real quick. That lines up with Isaiah, the ninth chapter. Let me grab it real quick. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. Get into it. I'm about to show you how it's the sign of the times with these men. Yeah, these men, these men, these men, this is crazy, man. Right here. Isaiah 9 and 6, it says, For unto us a child is born, and us is, and it says, Unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, Prince the peace. Prince of Peace. And of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform it but come on. That, now flowing into it it says in the beloved sitting on their shoulders will come forth and send out his 12 disciples and they will teach all the nations and every tongue of the resurrection of the beloved yeah that's what a Paul that's right, the gospel. was that's an apostle to the Gentiles to teach all the nations which was ultimately is the will of the heavenly father you can't be in the new covenant and not understand this basic information. When you read about Revelations, the twenty was the twenty first chapter, where it says, "And the nations that are saved shall walk in the light." This is like a basic thing, man. This is, this is a basic principle. Go ahead, bro. It goes on to say, "And those who believe will be saved." Yeah, you gotta believe in everything to be saved. Go ahead, bro. And in his ascension into the seventh heaven, whence he came. And that many who believe in him will speak through the Holy Spirit. And many signs and wonders will be wrought in those days. And afterwards, on the eve of his approach, his disciples will forsake the teachings of the 12 apostles in their faith, in their love, in their purity. This is the eve of his approach. You know, the, t the time before his return. You know what I'm saying? And as you can see the condition of what we see in the world, look, man, look at Israel. They have forsaken the ways of the Lord. They don't even push the new covenant. 
You know, they don't tell yo, that's what it's yo, bro. It's yeah, yeah, yeah but in the back of you again it says, on the eve of his approach, his disciples will forsake the teachings of the twelve apostles in their faith, in their love, and their purity. That's happening right now. <laughs> that's why they push hate. That's why they push sleeping with harlots, because the book of Galatians lets you know that if you lay with a harlot, what? You will not become one. You are now unclenched to the Lord. Yeah. And then Faith it, is, is belief. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yep. It says, and that many who believe in um, Sa um, Sa Alakia, and there will be much contention on the eve of his approach. Yeah, it's much contention the, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all contention amongst Israel. Contention, he's fighting. Yeah, fighting, fight. yeah. blaming, blaming. Yeah. Him, 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 he, he's up, stand. he's up. Yeah, they yeah. hold their side before this day, and that's the wrong day. And that, that, this syllable, and that, that, that. Just he's fighting. Yeah, he's just <laughs> fighting like little gossiping God. girls, like like little bitches, honestly, right? It's, it's, it's terrible, right? Go ahead, bro. Now, Shah Machak isn't the center of their doctrine anymore, man. It's all about what he's doing and what he ain't doing, and, yeah. and what that person is doing, what he could be doing. It's all fucking bullshit. Go ahead, bro. And in those days, many will love office, though devoid of wisdom. Yeah, so it's not about the truth no more. It's only about position. your position. Your yeah, phylactery. Yeah, it's about your authority. So it's like, yeah, we know that's the truth, but yeah, hold that real quick. No, we ain't holding nothing in, man. We speaking the truth. That's right. We speaking the truth. The days for holding stuff in, those days is over. We ain't holding nothing in. If you can't receive it, you can't receive it. We'll pray that you do receive it. We ain't holding nothing in. Go ahead, bro. And there will be many lawless elders yeah, and, and shepherds dealing wrongfully by their own sheep. Yeah, lawless elders. It's like a money grab now. Pay for the camp startup kit. Or pay for your phylacteries. Pay for these breakdowns. Make sure you pay it to give me some laws. Give me some laws. <laughs> give me some laws. You give me some laws. Tights. Make sure you pay your tights. And if you miss it, you gotta pay the extra five percent on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you pay yeah. you know, I ain't get my check last week. <laughs> get your hand out of my pocket. Come on, and it says this. It says, and they will ravage them owing to their not having holy God, shepherds. God, men that are fucking de they're destitute, they're hurting, bro. We feel yeah. bad for them. We know them. Them being in bondage, man. We know them. They're in bondage. They at home. They stay home with their moms still. They in, they in trouble. They need help. They need help, but they're being shooken down. This is wrong. When the, tr the church of Acts was set up, the thing was to put the money in a pot and to distribute, distribute the money in accordance to needs. It didn't just go up to top to a black hole, and then when something came up, it was like, shh, shh. well, if that brother got faith, man, you know what I'm saying? Or it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. Matter of fact, James said that. Yeah. Don't say to your brother that's in need, yeah. send him away, just have a little faith. That's the shit that they do in the Catholic yeah. Church. I mean, the, the churches. Yeah. Saying if he's hungry, you say have faith, and the Lord said, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't fulfilling his needs. Yeah. Yeah, man, you and then run to uh, well, Peter and jo gold and silver. Have we none? They didn't have no gold and no silver at the time. They was broke, but they had they had they had healed them. Yeah. So you can't hide behind that and say Yahweh Shah wasn't out here doing soup kitchens. Yes, he was. He was literally doing that. He was feeding people. Up, he was feeding people, and he yeah. knew that they was only coming for, for the, the food. food. Yeah. He said it. He said some of y'all. Yeah, he didn't say, hey, nigga, you don't, you you only here for the grub. Give me his food back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't do that. So you 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 look guys literally say your house child wasn't out here doing shoot or you did they'll be over there in the church feeding the homeless and what the what the fuck, fuck you you're sitting there all angry mad at them for feeding the church for doing a good deed, yeah right? for doing a good deed and it says and many will change the honor of the garments of the saints for the garments of the covetous yeah for the garments of covetousness man you're selling out you sold out before y'all taught about hell looking at another man's position Angry about this shit. And it says that there Christ. will be <laughs> the apostles is over the bishops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the generals are like, what, what, what are we worried about position? Who cares? Just teach the gospel. And there will be much respect of person in those days. Yeah, because depending on what you do, it's not depending on what you do, it depends on who you are. Yeah, yeah. 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 They gonna get away with some stuff that these people can't get away with. Yeah. So it's not gonna be um people are not gonna judge righteous judgment. It's gonna be predicated based off of respect to a person. To the point where it's like, I don't care what happened. Yeah, I don't care. 
I, I'm selling with the high chief priest. Even though they was going to put an innocent man to death. Hey, that's the high chief priest. He's been doing it. He, man, he's been that high chief priest for years. So he got to know what he he's doing. He, he got to know. He got yeah, yeah, to know right, what right. he's doing. He's using longevity to kind of justify <laughs> <laughs> pushing the truth. That's, That's why he said right. uh, now he you said, got the blood Paul, of the Lord on your hands, though. Paul said to Titus, like, don't let them despise your youth. That's what he was talking about. Just because you young and they older than you, don't let them de stand on the principles of the truth. Yeah. Calling to back you because he said if you bring them into rem remembrance of these things, then you will be a disciple of mine. Then it goes on to say, there will be much respect of persons in those days and lovers of the uh, um, honor of this world. And there will be much slander and vain glory at the approach of the Lord, yeah, yeah. and the Holy Spirit will withdraw from many. Men want to be reverent. Men want to be doing, yeah. getting credit for what you what you've been taught. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, I, yeah. I, I, who taught who, you who niggas? Who taught you niggas? Slander. What are you, what are you slandering us for? They learned that from us. Even though Paul us. said. Paul planted of water. Apollo water. It's Most the Lord that gives an increase. Or the other time he said. Who am I? Right. Who's Apollos? Right. Who's Cephas? We're all ministers of the Lord, and the Lord yeah. deals with all of us. Paul you said, can't give a prophet no, 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 our dreams. You can't teach an apostle to go out if the Lord gave him a message. Yeah, yeah man, you can't teach a teacher yeah. to understand things of the scriptures. That's the Lord, and now you're taking credit away from the Lord. Yeah. Come on now. Come on now, man. Now, going into more, or you want to grab that preset? I will grab that preset. Come on. Uh, uh, what? Justin, right? Yeah, Justin. Yeah. For ye have. Hold on. Go to. Uh, eight, 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 eight. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Start at one, man. Okay. Start at one. Galatians 1 verse 1. Yep. Paul, an apostle, uh, not of men, neither by men, but by Yahusha Mashiach. Yeah, so Paul was an apostle, not of men, but through the Lord. Right, go ahead. But by Yahweh Shammash, Yah and God the Father, go ahead. who raised him from the dead. Yeah, the Most High raised Yahweh Shammash from the dead. Go ahead. And all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of, of Galatia. Go ahead. Grace be to you in peace from God the Father and from our Lord Yahweh Shammash, Yah, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from his from this present evil. Notice every letter is the gospel being proclaimed. In the beginning, there's always the gospel being proclaimed. What is the gospel? That Yahweh Shai came, he lived, he died, and he was resurrected. It's, it's always going to revert back. To true ministers are always going to revert back to the gospel. Go ahead. Come. Who gave himself for our sins. Go ahead. That we might deliver us from this present evil world. Go ahead. According to the will of God in our Father, to whom be glory forever and ever among. Go ahead. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him. I called you into the grace of Hamashiach into another gospel, which is not another, but there will be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Yahweh Shai. Yeah, it be some that trouble you and they pervert the gospel of Yahweh Shai. Some men try to hold you to Moses. Some men try to tell you you're not underneath the new covenant. Some men try to tell you you're underneath the Levitical priesthood and that you should keep the Levitical priesthood to the best of your ability. Even though the scriptures say underneath that old covenant, if you broke one, you broke them all. Go ahead. It says, uh, but though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you, then that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. Yeah, let him be a curse. So anybody else preaching to you any other thing, let them be a curse. It ain't talking about, ain't talking about no camp doctrine. It's not talking about the understanding of your elders or your so-called apostles or your five-star general who says, if you ain't in the ISUPK, you ain't in the truth. That's bullshit. They want to hold you to old garments and hold you to, you know, carnal Passovers and hold you to the flesh, you know, with they walking around with their swords and shit, like some goddamn Zakariites. You know, that's bullshit. As we said before, so say, I, so say I now again. Go ahead. If any men preach any other gospel unto you, then that ye have received, let them be a curse. This is the gospel. <laughs> the Bible is the gospel. The word, the book of Hebrews is the gospel, right? The book of Galatians is the gospel. James wasn't going off. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. James was not going off. James knew exactly what it was that he was speaking of. He was in the spirit. 
You saying James went off only proves that you guys were amongst the ones that they were rebuking. That was trying to go around and telling people, oh, yo, in order to be saved, you got to keep the laws of Moses and you got to be circumcised. They was like, nah, my friend, you don't even know what the gospel is. You don't even know why Yahweh Shai died. If you got to keep the laws of Moses, then Yahweh Shai died in vain. For do I not persuade men of God? Yeah, am I persuaded of, uh, for do I not uh, now, am I persuaded of men? So you got to make a decision like them. Am I going to follow after men or I'm going to follow after the teacher? Yeah, stand on business for the Lord. Am I going to stand on business for, uh, because, yeah. go ahead, bro. Now, the scripture just says, um, we rather obey God than men. men. Rather yeah. than men. You can't shoot both sides. You can't shoot. Yeah. You can't shoot so God and men. You gotta pick a side. That's why when they told him not to push that name, it was like, what are you no. talking about? We're going right back. <laughs> out. I know we just right, got right, out. Right, we right, went right. straight back to teaching. Right, right. right. Yo, yeah. right. Yeah. Right. 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 and add because the, 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 the reason why faith is pushed, not just with this uh, uh, pistol, is because once you lose faith in Yahweh Shah, the reason why he said that a lot of men are respecters of persons. Is because we see it. A lot of men have more faith in men, men than, than they do the Lord. That's why when they read the Lord's words, yeah. they revert back to the men that taught them. And they put those men above the Lord. Yeah. And some men don't even read. Yeah. They'll just watch lessons of these yeah. men. Yeah, and you can tell. Yeah, if you got a question, like you, you uncertain about something, instead of going to the scriptures to get it, you go look at them. Yeah. You go yeah. type it in on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With yeah. the, yeah. the yeah. kids yeah. that you're looking for just to get an explanation. Yeah. And they can even uh, mess that up. You know what I'm saying? Instead of going directly to the scriptures and taking it from the in the back, you real quick, even though the scripture says to study the show that I self approve, the Lord is a reward of them that diligently seek them. When you look into the word diligently, it means basically to seek after one's own self. You ain't separate with the Lord. That's why when you read yeah, the book of James, exactly. it says, don't think that a man shall receive anything because if you don't have no faith, it's basically like the Lord casting his pearls into swine. Yeah, 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 because right? if you don't have if you if you don't have no faith, if I give you something, you're not gonna believe it. Why should I give it right. to you? Or, or even if you're not gonna teach it. Yeah. Gonna teach if it. I'm gonna yeah. give you something and you're not gonna teach Make it, it use predicated use based it. off yeah, the fear of somebody not receiving it, what if the apostles did that shit? What if the Lord did that? Especially Paul of of, of all people being a Pharisee. You want to say something? Um, I was gonna say Um go ahead, bro. For for do I now persuade men yeah. or God? Yep. Or do I seek to please men? Yeah. Or fear? Yeah, because if we seek to please men, we, we wouldn't be here right now. Yeah. Huh. We would never found the new covenant. Go ahead. For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Amashiach. Yeah, so we're servants of Yahweh. We're friends of Yahweh's side. Go ahead. For I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after men. Yeah, this ain't after men. Go ahead. For I neither receive it of men. So Paul didn't receive this, so he didn't go to, he didn't receive a teaching. He didn't have to go to the school to receive the breakdown. He received it from Yahweh Shai person himself, and he wrote epistles. And now we go to these epistles to get edified off of them. That's personal, because like, he wasn't talking about Yahweh Shai. There was a relationship between him and Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying? When you have a friend, yeah. he, tell you, tell, he tells you his most intimate secret, guess what? You, that connection, that, you know what I'm that's, saying? The, that's the connection between that, the shepherd and the sheep. Yeah, the, you the, have the, intimate, the choice. You bring them up from you, and you raise them up, so once again, that connection for your sheep. That's why uh, since Abel gave up the first of his flock, that was a, a, a pure sacrifice yeah. because of that relationship he had. That was something that he loved. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the thing, same thing with Yahweh Shah. He loved his sheep. That's why he told Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep. Yeah. So what we're doing in this time is we're preaching the gospel. And when you preach the gospel, right, when you cleanse out your temple, that's allowing the Spirit, the Holy Ghost to enter into you. And then you're going to be taught by the Holy Spirit. So this is what we're doing. This is the importance of preaching the gospel. Oh, hold on, okay. hold it. I got okay. you, bro. Go ahead. It's almost done. Oh, yeah, boy, I certify yep. you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached unto me of me is not after men. Yep. For neither receive. So hold on, because men, I, the marginalization of the apostles in this day and age is crazy to me. You think Paul was ignorant? You don't think he knew who he was speaking to? You don't think he knew the audience that he was speaking to? You don't think he knew the difference between an Israelite, for, a, a so-called Israelite foreigner and a natural Gentile? You think he was confused? You think you know more than him? The man that was taught from Yahweh Shah himself? You think he didn't know what words to use and how to use it? Uh, we know more than the apostles. 
when the apostle had everything, the writings was back there. You know what I'm saying? They walked with Yahweh Shai. All the books, all the books. You know what I'm saying? They walked with Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? The history was there. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a uh, uh, that's a elder statement to make. You know? You we see, know more than the apostles. apostles. Yeah, the first time like, we're trying to, to deal me. with these people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah bro. Like, come that's on now. Cool. We read their accounts. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> we read their story. Right. Right. And that's right. a stumbling right. block to men because men will say. Paul's here, leader of a camp, and he'll say everything totally against what Paul's speaking. Right. Going back to men being a respective person. Revelation 21 and 8. But cowards, unbelievers, corrupt, murderers, the immoral, those who practice witchcraft, idol worshippers, so like you can idolize you can idolize men. Right? And all liars, people who lie about, you know, there's no hell, there's no such thing as falling, you know, all of that. Their fate is the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. Yep. So if they don't repent, that's that's that's, that's it. Hey, bro, slander comes with lying. Bearing false witness yes. comes with lying. That's why they say you're bearing false witness because you don't know you aren't the witness to what happened. Right. Yeah. Just speaking or gossiping. That's what you got in Israel. A bunch of Tasha K's and you know, yeah, yeah, Wendy yeah. Williams and speaking about something you have no idea. Yeah, you got no idea. But I don't know what one ended up happening. But then shut up. If you don't know what winded up happening, don't speak on it. Yeah. Uh, Matthew 15 and verse 12. Then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended after they heard this saying? But he answered and said, Every plant which is which my heavenly father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone, they be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. There you go. Blind leaders of the blind. You have men that's blind leading other people and guess what the, the result is going to be judgment they're going to have to deal with that yeah. so until your eyes open up until the lord's uh what's that the eye sound yes put that ointment on you right. you know yeah. what i'm saying and, and clear up that vision yeah. you know what i'm saying yo listen you going you heading in a bad way man yeah. you know so once again you better see what the hell is going on out here bro if i mean i do if he wasn't played by your house shot who he was been by yeah saying yeah exactly. so you're doing exactly yeah. what you're saying yeah. what should yeah. you be doing you know what I'm saying? right paul paul was blinded Yes, yes, he was. He was yeah. blinded. Yeah. Paul was, Paul was you guys. Old Covenant, that wasn't even Paul, that was Saul. That was Saul, right? Just running around, fucking shit up. <laughs> Beating niggas for not, for not falling. Give me Acts to 6 after real quick. Give me Acts to 6 after real quick. <laughs> Chasing dudes down. Yeah, hunting niggas down. You hiding in people's houses, you know, he gone? Is he yeah. gone? Yeah. He was, he was, he was, uh, he was, uh, 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 uh fringes checking. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, Debo, like, Saul pull up you like Debo. Like, yeah. Fringe checking and like circumcision. Like, you know what I mean? I heard you believe in your house. What's going on with that? Yeah, yeah. You're this new doctrine. Oh, you're a bounty hunter. Yeah, yeah. If I mean, I do, he was taking order from the from the Pharisees too. Of course, you know. He was the Pharisees of the Pharisees, the ultimate Pharisee. On his way to Damascus. Yeah, right. About to go wreak havoc. I think it was gonna mention that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Act six, because yeah, I want. Yeah. Um, hold on, give me a second, bro. Let me a second, bro. Um. So. Chasing now, dude. Like LeBron. So get Acts chapter. Get Acts chapter. Um. Uh, seven. Acts chapter six verse seven. Six verse seven. Yep. Uh, Acts chapter six verse seven. Yep. And the word of Yahweh increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly. Yeah. So we got to you got to go back to the first century. Put yourself there. The word of Yahweh increased, right? And faith it increased. People was coming into the knowledge of the yeah. of the truth with, in great numbers at that time, Especially right? Especially with this great event that just took place. Oh yeah. So you can't you can't take away this. This, this great event, uh, which, which, which is Yahweh Shah being crucified, yeah. you know, and it's being uh, word going around, you know. Yeah, Plus the scripture letting us know that once he was glorified, his Holy Ghost was going to yeah, start yeah. to go out and yep. bring people back into yep. remembrance of stuff and be a comforter. Yeah. If I may, I do the Pentecost, right? When the, when the, when the cloven tongue said yep. on, on the apostles, yep. they started speaking in other languages, you know yep. what I mean? Miracles Foundations. was being done. Men being raised from the dead, right? Great event, blind being made to see. Yeah. Go ahead. And a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. And Stephen, full of faith, well, Stephen, Stephen, Stephen yep. full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Yeah, Stephen was out here getting busy. And Stephen was doing these by the works of faith, not by the works of the law, as 
Paul will go on and tell you in Galatians, have you received these words because of the, the law or through, the, the, through faith, through your Yahweh shine, right? Hey, yo, plus the back, you, he even goes on to say that faith came after the law, which was that law being the schoolmaster, because when Yahweh Shai came was when faith came. There was no faith in the law. It was sealed and shut up. That's to not faith. stuff that we're making up. It's in the scriptures. Yep. And there arose certain of the synagogue, which is called the synagogue of the Libertines, yep. and Serenes, yep. and the Alexandrians, yep. and of them of Sicily, and of Asia, disputing with Stephen. Disputing with Stephen, go ahead. And they, they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. Yeah, these are these camps, these Old Testament camps, these Old Covenant camps, right? Go ahead. Then they suborned men, which said, we have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against Yahweh. Yeah, so their beef was, yo, we heard this man speak blasphemous words against Moses. So if Stephen was teaching the same thing that they was teaching, what's the issue? What's the issue? He was talking about this new covenant. He was talking about this. He wasn't talking about no Levitical priesthood. He was talking about the uh, order of Mount Jezedek. He wasn't speaking about uh, walking around with fringes and 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 and, and holding men to Moses's old law. He was talking about the law of Yahweh's side, the law of love. He was pushing Yahweh's side. That's why that's the Acts of six chapter. But in the fifth chapter, it says, "Yo, didn't we tell you men to stop?" Teaching in his name, yeah. they wasn't arguing about syllables. Uh -uh. They, they said you feel using with all doctrine, his doctrine. doctrine. Yeah. That's what they was arguing about. And if it was the same thing as what the Pharisees was pushing, what was the issue? Why did they kill him? And they stirred up the people and the elders and the scribes and came upon him and caught him and brought him to the council and set up a false witness, which said this man says not to speak blasphemous words against the Holy Spirit. Yeah, so he's speaking against the holy place, speaking against the temple. The heavenly father destroyed that temple. There's a reason why he destroyed the temple, because you men worship the temple more than you worship the creator. Yeah, rent the veil so that you couldn't go back and give a sacrifice to the bullshit that you did. That's why it was the last Passover. Yeah, how it shall be keeping the cover. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, damn. I'm yeah. the new high chief priest. Yeah. Well, we have heard him say that this Yahweh Shab Nazareth shall destroy this place. It shall change the custom <laughs> which Moses, is, where Moses delivered us. That's what they accuse us of. Oh, they're trying to change the customs. Y'all proving with your own mouths that y'all little, y'all, if y'all back then, y'all coming in the same spirit. Oh, they're going to change the customs. How can how can you how would be the high chief priest if the law wasn't changed? If the customs of Moses wasn't changed? How? How? I was thinking of that time when they um they said that I remember Pilate said, let me wash his hand uh, his yeah. blood off my hand. They said, put, put my put the blood on my children, yeah. children. Yeah. So they may be come down the line yeah, yeah, yeah. today. Yeah. Um no, it could be anybody, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, like that's saying no, the same it's true. Time. You know? said, yeah, they said let his blood be upon us and our children. Yeah, children, you know, imagine yeah. that that line is still alive today. Yeah. You know, so um, yeah, ma ma imagine if I, if I mean to write uh, by just, just by, that, by 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 that word that should be justified and by that word that should be condemned. So yeah. that was a, that was an awkward when they do that. Yeah. 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 yeah, Imagine them telling you, look, man, you all, don't worry about don't worry about all that. Just don't um don't fornicate, don't uh give sacrifices to idols, and don't worship. Anything Blood. Yeah, yeah, don't eat nothing with blood and you're going to be good. Yeah. They're going to be like, what? Blast for me, he's speaking against Moses. He's trying to change the customs. Yeah. They'll cuss you off from my... Run up on IUIC without no fringes on right yeah. now, man. <laughs> <laughs> one of them yeah, guys even if you want to certain camps and you don't know where your right. father go back to that shit well, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. that shit well, yeah, yo I never like, met my dad yeah, yeah, yeah I don't know do you like your steak well done well, you don't know you better go just, pray that you will listen like, like this. the reason why the Lord said don't get don't get caught up in with like endless genealogies yeah. yeah. but yeah. what brings yeah. edifying that, that's not edifying do ask about that how you like your steak or do you hunt Yeah. starting up with this man now the man steak get with you and now you know why you gotta fight Oh yeah, I'm 
about to lay him out. Like, hold on, you picking on people? Yeah, yeah. Like, why you just preaching? You just bro? walking down the street and you just harassing people. <laughs> I'm finding my business. You gonna have to see some folks. You got more than your father from. Yeah, you like Where's to your hunt? Nah, I don't hunt. From? Yeah, yeah don't nigga hunt. said, nah, I don't hunt. So, like, now you gotta find a. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You play ball? You just picking on somebody, bro. You trying to find a fault, bro. Can you Dougie? Bad carnal, right? Carnal as hell. Instead of saying, like, yo, do you believe in the Lord? Do you believe in, like, that? Right, right. We used to be like that, man. Yeah, she's out the window. Oh, bro. Out, yeah, that's, 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 that's old shit. That's just out yeah, the window, bro. That's what. Give me that scripture. You, you got Jake that don't know how to dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the outerwear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We were like this, but you were the. Do you possess the fruits of the spirit? Right. You on the bike. The crazy part is not the fruits of the spirit. Oh, yeah, the buddy that used to come up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not the fruits of the spirit. And we was wishing death on him. <laughs> you would call me by and say we wasn't producing the fruits of the spirit. Yeah. And, and he almost got hit by a car. And brothers was like, oh, look, yo, that's judgment. That's judgment. You know what I'm saying? Right, you asking them if we could eat, uh, be in a steak or uh, whatever, uh, rare, whatever it tastes, uh, but the man's presenting his faith to you. Yeah. And you straight denying that. I know. You straight denying that. Like, I believe in what you believe in. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I agree with you. But right. it's like, nah, nigga, we gonna have your taste. It's like, yo, what the fuck? Carnal, carnal, you're not teaching, bro. Carnal. Like, <laughs> you're really check. scattering instead of gathering. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? You, you're basically you're doing a disservice for the Lord, bro. Why he? Why, why would he send you to be an ambassador? You fucking up the message, bro. Right. <laughs> the message has <laughs> changed. You know how they say you deliver, you tell somebody a secret. By the time you get all the way down there, it's right, a different right, message. Right, right. You know, what the fuck's going on? What's that? Tell hey, yo, Carl, I'm in the back. You First Timothy one and three. It says, as I besought thee to abide still at Ephesus, when I went into Macedonia. That thou mightest charge some that they teach no other doctrine, neither give hate heed to fables and endless genealogies which minister questions rather than godly edifying which is in faith so do. Now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart and of a good conscience and of faith unfeigned from which some having swerved have turned aside unto vain jangling, desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say no, where would they affirm? Desiring to be teachers of the law. Where's your father from? Oh yeah, you gotta understand, uh, there was some Israelites down in Ireland to so some of the Irish go back. Who cares? Who cares? You preach the gospel to them. If it sticks, it sticks. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't. Because it says by faith you are Abraham's seed. So it's like, why can you take that away? Right. Not about that no more. It's about faith. It's about belief. It's about seeing if men believe or not. Not about the flesh. No, it is. But the heathens can make it. It's just not Esau. It's not the nation either. You know? It's the so spirit like, of Esau. So you don't got to ask somebody, oh, what's your, who, you, who are you? You know, he looks like a mobile. You know what I mean? Like, he, he has a chance if he believes. So right. he can act in his but, lineage and, and he dance and just go with the trumpet and then Chris Brown and he can't. And now, yeah, 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 you have to get him out of here. Yeah, get him out of here. Come on, man. That's why sometimes you have to ask him the way to your, um, the, um, sometimes you got to ask him the way to your um, matters because the Lord tells you what comes out of man's mouth is what's in his mind. A man can pretend, a man can look like an Israelite, but the minute you start talking about love, charity, peace, yeah, and long yeah, suffering, yeah. they be like, nah, man, I can't fuck with none of that. There's your answer. It's a spiritual. It's, it's yeah, not calling. They reject the words of Yahweh Shah. Literally, Yahweh Shah said to do this. Do you accept that or you reject that? Yeah. And you won't know. Because once again, the scripture says the, the, word, the, the, the words are sharpening to a sword, and it's yeah. also the discerning of heart. So all you have to do is apply the scripture. You gotta ask these carnal questions. You know what I'm saying? For the, for you to know, the scripture says, "There's our spirit bear with with their spirit that we're the children of God." Yeah. Come on now. I got to uh, Matthew 23 and 13. But we want you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, but ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer them that are entering to go in. Just because someone can't dance a certain way or eat the food, you know they can't they can't enter. Or they may they may not even they, so they want everyone to keep the old you can't you gotta keep the old testament and new testament is when new covenant is when we're in the kingdom and that's if you make it to the kingdom that is but people don't believe in the lake of fire so that's the whole yeah, thing is the, you can't the, even the talk key, to them about the key that. is the new covenant yeah. but, i was gonna say too it was the acts 13 chapter when the gentiles was like oh next sabbath preach yeah, yeah. imagine if it was really out there gatekeeping yeah. Oh, nah, nah, nah. Y'all can't, yeah, can't yeah. get none of this. Yeah, with a they said the whole city went out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, come on, now. Yeah. 
out yeah, now. Yeah. The whole Yo, city went the out. The whole city went out there. Right. Come on and hit us work. And you sitting here, oh, you a Gentile? Are you circumcised according to the, the flesh? Get off the block. Yeah. Even though the scripture tells you. You passed the brown you, paper bag test? Even though it tells you, you that your circumcision will profit you nothing. Right. It's a circumcision of your heart. It's a spiritual circumcision. Why? Because it even goes on in to, to say in the account of Barnabas, Abraham circumcised his servants. So whoever his servants was, they, they, they were circumcised and they weren't of the nation of Israel. So your circumcision means nothing if it's not a circumcision of your heart. But to finish this off, um, it tells you this in the section of Isaiah. Going back to, it says, and there will be much slander and vainglory at the approach of the Lord and the Holy Spirit will withdraw from many. And there will not be in those days many prophets nor those who speak trustworthy words, save one here and there in diverse places. On account of the spirit of error and fornication and of vain glory and of covetousness, which shall be in those who will be called servants of that one and in those who will receive that one. And there will be great hatred in the shepherds and elders towards each other. For there will be great jealousy in the last days for everyone will say what is pleasing in their own eyes. And they will make of none effect the prophecy of the prophets which were before me. And these my visions also will they make of none effect in order to speak after the impulse of their own hearts. This is why they say the things like, we don't know who wrote the book of Hebrews. James was going off. Men have, yo, listen, man, they are put aside those teachings. Even when it comes to the prophecies of what's going to come down. Yeah. This is why they don't speak about certain things. They're yeah, showing you that in the end times, it was going to be far more worse than it was before. Yeah. You know, you had men in the in ancient time, in the time where uh, the first century, you know, uh, different doctrines start creeping in and stuff. But look at now, it's far more worse because the scripture talks about, I think I had it earlier. Uh, I'm going to grab it real quick. Um, going back to 2nd Ezra 14 and uh, 17, it says, But look how much more, yeah. uh, but look how much the world shall be weaker through age so much it says so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein so going back to what you mentioned right in these time in this time in the, in the latter time the end time things was just going to be chaotic so we have to restore order in a sense right we have to go out and preach how it shy but we only understand that it's only going to be for a selective few you know it says many are called but few are chosen all right it said that the lord was going to bring a, a, a remnant you know what I'm yeah we have been we have been so far removed right the, we have been so far from essence, from the true message, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, and you have those men uh, uh, in, our, in our modern time, you know what I'm saying? Preaching nothing but lies, deceit, you know what I'm saying? To be seen of men, you know what I'm saying? To uh, pretty much uh, preaching what they feel like. Not, not preaching what the yeah. Haushai says, you know what yeah. I'm saying? They, they have been more from the gospel that the Haushai had established through the apostles. I got some. In the back, you real, real, real quick, because you know it's a stronghold once again. When the words of the Lord tells you what the fruits of the Spirit is, and men do otherwise, and you say yeah. that they have the Holy Spirit, that, that that's that that's the reason why we just read to as well. It said that the Holy Spirit will withdraw from many. Why? Because not a lot of men show love, not a lot of men show patience, not a lot of men show meekness. Those are all characteristics. Okay. Not a lot of men are merciful. The things that we want the Lord to display unto us, we don't want to display unto men. Yeah. Exactly. This What's is Matthew. the golden rule? Do unto others as you I, want I do done unto you. Yeah. This is Matthew 24, 36. But of the day and hour, no, no man, no, not not the angels of heaven, but my father only. And that goes back to what you mentioned earlier about measuring the time diligently in itself. And all these different things that was going to take place within this time. You start seeing men uh, 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 vain glorying, uh, having respect to persons, and doing and, and falling away from the teachings. That's also a, a, sign, a sign of the time to understand what time period we're in. And know? what proves it is they bypass the precept that you just read. What you just read, they'll, they'll turn around and listen to a man and put a time frame on it. Yeah. It says, um, verse 37, But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Yeah. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and marrying, I mean, eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And you got to remember, too, the Lord said that he had repented for making man. That's going back into those times yeah, because yeah. the wickedness was was, 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 was through the root. You see? So so he had to present Noah, a preacher of righteousness, right, to, 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 to seal his, ultimately it was his family, his, his three sons and their wives, right? And they brought him into the ark, which is salvation at that point in time, right? Yeah. So, so with that being said, look at this time period now. The Lord's about to bring a heavy judgment, but 
these men, this is because of the, the, the sins have reached unto the heavens. This is because iniquity has, 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 sin has laid upon each other. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go back real quick. Let's lock it. It says, um, and, and verse 39, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the son of man be. So, hey, listen, that's why we say you got to get to this word. Uh, 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 seek your how we shine right now. Because guess what? The Lord can come tomorrow. You have to worship him in spirit and truth. There's a yeah. reason why he says that. Yeah, but when you look into the words, man. yeah. You can't be playing around with this. You know, yeah. Yahweh Shah did what he did for a for, for, for a reason, for a, a higher purpose. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ephesians, uh, 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 Ephesians where it says to measure down the time diligently. Yep, 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 Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and their unrighteous men his thoughts. And let him return unto the, unto the Lord and yeah. he'll have mercy upon him. If I be tomorrow, I'm, I'm going to find me out real quick because it's showing you right there uh -huh. how to call upon the name of the Lord. It has nothing to do with the syllables. That's why in Matthew 7, when he said, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied thy name? And he said, depart from me, ye work of iniquity, which goes into gross behavior. Because when you read up, back on what Barnabas says, the Lord said that you was judging your brother. You wasn't treating people how you wanted to be treated. That that That's coming in the name of the Lord. So if, yeah. if, if, if you reread that again, yeah. he's letting you know how you're going to call out to him. Yeah, how was that was an example? You know what I'm saying? You say you're following Yahweh Shah, you're gonna do the things that Yahweh Shah did. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna love your brother. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna you're gonna take matters into your own hands. Yep, yep, you see? yep. You're gonna forgive. You're gonna have mercy. You're gonna have some type of uh, some compassion. Yeah, because that's exactly what you want how people want to do to you. You have to give mercy in order to obtain it. He said, like, even a woman that, that committed adultery. The Holy Shah said he, he didn't even condemn her. Yeah. So how much more in this time we look at the next man and we're going to condemn them? You know what I'm saying? Like, no, we're supposed to have patience with a brother. We have to have mercy with each other. You know what I'm saying? What was that um, parable with the, with the master and he had the servant that owed him money and he forgave yeah, him yeah, his yeah, debt? Yeah, yeah. And then the next nigga owed him money yeah. and then the servant was like, and he's like, bro. And I just, I just forgive, forgive your debt, and yeah. now you, at the next one you wanna, you wanna, you wanna uh, take out, take it That's out. That's why the condemnation was that much worse on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know because you showed the, the same thing that the master right. showed. Right. Yeah. You wanna you read said, that? Um, oh. Is that Matthew? Yeah, yeah. Isaiah, yeah. Isaiah yeah. 6, that, 55 and six. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Yeah. Call ye upon him while he's near. Let the wicked forsake his way. Unrighteous man, so it goes back to real, real quick. I'm mortifying the deeds of the, the body, flesh, yeah. the flesh. That's why the scripture says, What Ch thoughts. change your thoughts, change your mind. You have to renew your mind once the Holy Spirit comes within you. So the Lord is He laid out the blueprint clear, He laid it out clear on how you was gonna seek after. Him. The scripture says, too, As a man thinks, so is he. You know what I'm saying? Your mind becomes your action, and your action becomes who you are. You know what I'm saying? So, so it starts with your mind. Everything the battle is in your mind. You know what I'm saying? That's where the battle takes place, and that's where. It's, how is that in there? Guess what? Sin is in there. It tells you, man, it's not what a man eats that condemns it's him. What's com it's what comes out of his mouth because it first started in his mind. That's why he said, listen, if you even have the daughter hating your brother, I'm a, you, are, you, are, you are a murderer. Or if you even look upon a woman and lust after her, yo. And the reason why, because if you're presented with the opportunity, you will do it. You will do it. Yeah. This is all. Uh, you see what that uh, Yeah. And he will have mercy upon him and to our God. For he will abundantly pardon. And that's exactly why this place is uh, the Lord not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. So the, the, the goal of Yahweh is for is for everybody to take heed, to repent, you know, mm -hmm. to acknowledge your offense or sins, you know what I'm saying, and, and do better. Yeah. Plus the back you the brother just read how you're gonna come to repentance. Yeah. Um this is Matthew 5 and verse 9 at verse 1. And seeing the multitude, he went up into a mountain. And this is important because the same way that Moses went up into Mount Sinai, Yahweh Shah went up on a mountain to present these uh, new covenants, these new, uh, uh, just new, uh, these new rules, right? Yes, I, I gave you new doctrine. New doctrine, right? Yeah. It says, and seeing the multitude, he went up into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Bless are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Bless are they that mourn, 
for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are, blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure, pure in heart, for they shall see the Most High. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manners of evil against you falsely for my sake. And you know, you have a person, you know, somebody say something against you, you have a person to react and do things the wrong way. How shall I say, hey, listen, you're blessed. You don't have to deal with it in that carnal way, though. You know what I mean? Or be self will to deal with that situation. Just look at the brighter side to it. You're doing yeah. something good. Yeah. You know, if these people are speaking against you yeah. falsely, then hey, listen, you're following, you're coming after Yahweh Shah. Yeah, as a human being, when somebody talks bad about something that you do, that, that you didn't do, your first reaction is to react, yeah. to defend yourself. But the Lord tells you to go, no, don't, don't do that. You don't have to. Deny your flesh, you know what I'm saying? Deny your flesh. Uh, 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 just, just don't, just don't pay it in the mind. Yeah, let, let the Yahweh do his thing. Once again, verse, the Lord. verse 11, Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and, say all, and shall say all manners of evil against you for my sake. Yeah. Coming in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, this, just like how he was spit on and people were coming at him and, and saying he come after uh, Beelzebub, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're going to say the same things about his disciples, his followers, yeah. those that believe upon him. Yeah, right? So that's the indicator. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, I was about to add, right? Yeah, when Yah when Yahweh was getting crucified, Yahweh says says had the power to call the legion of angels. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They will come in and, and defend me, but he, he, he took the law. He, he, he accepted his faith. Yeah. So it's sometimes it. in life you have to accept what the Lord has in store for you. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just go with it. You know yeah. Take it chip. Yeah, take, take a chip. Yeah. Uh -huh. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you because every prophet that came before yeah. uh, um, you know that had the message of the heavenly father yeah. you know these people didn't like what was being said yeah. you know what I'm saying they it says prophesy to this uh, yeah. uh, uh, smooth thing you yeah, know it could, could. yeah man at the hands of their own people that's why the Lord said their blood I will require of thee or even when you yeah. go into Hebrews and it talks about some were sawed asunder yeah. what we just read from the ascension of Isaiah when that's you go true. into that it tells you that King Manasseh was the one that did it and, it, and it was because he was um the our spirit of Satan had hopped on him, and he had sought Isaiah. Mm -hmm. So it's letting you know that our people are listen, man. It's 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 just the reality of it. it. Goes back to what we were saying earlier in this lesson about accountability. Our people have to take accountability. Yeah. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's why Yahweh says, "O Jerusalem, O Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets, the prophets man." Yeah, yeah and it's, you're only an enemy unto those people if you're pushing against what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? So if they're being wicked and you telling them like, yo, listen, you're going off, then that's when you become the enemy because these people love doing that. You know what I'm saying? They love, they love, they love wickedness. Crazy thing too is, you know, certain men hide behind persecuting, talking about, yeah, man, that. that we're going to get persecuted when Esau come down. But you got to ask yourself, are you doing the persecuting? Yeah. Because a lot of y'all are persecuting. Yeah. Ain't nobody persecuting y'all. Ain't nobody thinking up. about y'all. I got a piece of... Um, um, John 3 and 19 And this is the condemnation That light is come into the world And men love darkness Rather than light Because their deeds were evil yeah, man, that, that, that light is your yeah. Yeah. So the Pharisees The wicked scribe Pharisees right They, they, they didn't like the house Because what the house The message that the house was preaching Was against the, 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 the doctrine yeah. Was against what they what they were doing sure, yeah. So they, they're trying to refer, They're trying to have people uh, Not going to your house you know what I'm saying? So that the, so that the light wouldn't shine on them. You know what I'm saying? They, they sat in that judgment seat. Yeah. So they, their position was to judge and to point fingers. But when Yahweh Shai came, he put the mirror to him. Yeah, yeah. And he said, I didn't come to judge. And if I do judge, my judgment is true. Because the Son of Man didn't come to condemn, but through the world that they may be saved. They didn't like that. Too. I was going to say, too, even it shows you that they was all about their positioning because Yahweh Shai was basically uh, stripping them from that position by pushing what he was pushing. Because they, they mentioned, oh, we got to get this under wraps. Before the Romans find right, out, right, and they right, take right, us, right, you know what right, I mean? They take right. our positioning. So it showed you there was more about the appearance of how they look than the truth. You know, and that's what Yahweh Shah was doing. Yahweh Shah was just stripping them from that position. Now people looking at them look with a, with, yeah. with a side eye, like, hold on, yeah. I don't know. Something's, yeah. funny. Something's funny, you know? Your argument, if I may add, because when you go into the epistle of Barnabas, he tells you that there's two dark doctrines, one of light and one of darkness. And he says that the one that is everlasting, which is Yahweh Shah and his angels, are over the doctrine of light. But it tells you the one that's temporary, which is Satan and his angels, 
or over the darkness. Because the scripture lets us know that we don't wrestle against flesh, and blood, flesh yeah. and blood, which is man and beast, but we wrestle against principalities, which is angels and demons. So yeah. when these men take hold of that darkness, they're taking hold of Satan, yeah, taking yeah, hold of this world. Yeah, I wish I was um, the second coming of the revelation of Yahweh Shah was manifested in Genesis 1 and 1. Get Genesis 1 and 1 real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genesis 1 verse 1. And he says, uh, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Right? And the earth was God form, and void, and darkness was upon the face of the, of the deep. And darkness was upon the face of the earth, and the earth was without form. When you go on to Isaiah 45 and 7, he said, I create, uh, give me Isaiah 45 and 7 real quick. Isaiah 45, verse, verse, uh, verse 7, is I formed the light. Yeah, so the scriptures say he formed the light. Go ahead. I formed the light and created darkness. Yeah, so he created darkness and out of the darkness, he forms the light. Go ahead. I make peace and create evil. Yeah, it says I make, so it's talking about creation and forming. Making peace and creating. Go ahead, I create what? I make peace and create evil. Yep. I do not do all these things. So now when you go to Genesis 1 and 1 real quick. Genesis 1 and 1. It says he created the heavens and the earth, right? And the earth was without form. That's right. But there was darkness already here. Go ahead. And, and darkness was upon the face of the earth. Yep. the deep. Yep, go ahead. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Yep. And God said, let there be light. So when God said, let there be light. Give me John 1. Yep, John 1 and 1. In the beginning yeah, was Isaiah the word. And the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Yeah, that light was the light of men. Go ahead. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Yep, so when he said that. You go back. You, what you got, bro? Isaiah 16. Isaiah 16 and 1. Isaiah 16 and 1. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. Yeah, darkness right now. And when the, when the Lord makes his second return, what is he coming back to? A dark world where darkness is covering the whole earth, just like in the beginning. All right, go ahead. Uh, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and grows darkness the people. Grows darkness the people. Go ahead. But the Lord shall be shall, shall arise upon thee, uh -huh. and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Go ahead. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light. Yeah, what is the light? Yahweh Shah Mashiach is the light. So what are the Gentiles gonna come to? They're gonna come to Yahweh Shah. Yeah. Who was Paul or apostle to? Paul was an apostle to the Gentiles. This ain't hard. Nobody's trying to trick you. I, I assure you that the Bible is not trying to trick you. You know? The Bible is not trying to trick you. Men are trying to trick you. <laughs> but the Bible is not trying to trick you. The scripture talks about the simplicity of Yahweh Shai. All right, um, go back to that, brother, what you had? Oh, first John. John. Yep. John 1 and verse 7. Yep. Verse 6. Yep. And there was a man sent from God whose name was John. Yep. And the same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men uh, through him might believe. Yeah, that all men through him might believe. Go ahead. Yeah, because, because all men came from Adam. So yeah, how shall I came from for, came, came for Adam? So everybody that came uh, of Adam, that's what when how shall I came, he came for the salvation. Yeah, yeah, how shall I came to redeem Adam? Yeah, that's who he came to redeem. Go ahead. He was not the he was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of the light of that light. That was the true light, which lighted every man that cometh in the world into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. Yeah, why do you, Jake don't want to deal with the fact that he, the scriptures say he came unto his own, and his own received him not. But you didn't receive light. If you don't receive light, that means you're going to receive the darkness. darkness. You don't want to live with Yahweh Shai forever, that means you want to live with Satan forever. You're casting out the darkness. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't salvation forever. You want, Into you eternal damnation. damnation. You There's only two it. options. Yeah. You can't serve two masters. You know, one foot in, one foot out. The scripture talks about being lukewarm. If you lukewarm, he's going to speed you out. So you got to pick a side. Joshua took off the old garments and put on new garments. Yeah, I'm in the back you, I had Luke in two because you mentioned something. I'll get right down to the point. It tells you... Hold um, on, real quick. Okay, I want yeah. that real quick. Okay. Verse 12. But as many as received him, 
to them he gave powers to become the sons of God, yeah. even to them that believe on his name. So even to them, so as many as received him, to them he gave power to be the sons of God. It doesn't matter your nationality. Yeah, it's done now. Yeah. We already went to you niggas, and you niggas refused, so now we're going to go to some other people. Go ahead. It says, and it's going to tell you. Verse 13, which were, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of men, but of God. Yeah, not of blood, not, not blood of not of it's not a bloodline thing, not of flesh, which is a race thing, but just of the will of God through faith. Yo, man, if I may add, because we had read from the ascension of Isaiah, showing you that the gospel was always about the coming of Yahweh Shah to do these things, because he said that they shall go out to all nations, and they shall whoever believed shall be saved. And it's going back to what you were saying. That was always the goal. And here you have Isaiah. He goes back to what? He goes back to the old covenant, the old testament. So verse 14, and the word and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, and the glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John bare witness of him and cried, saying, This was he of whom I spake. He that cometh after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Yeah, because like John says, uh, uh, they was gonna come one after me, which was like nah. a way to latch it. You know what I'm saying? So Yahweh mission was uh was uh, overshadow or supersede the mission of John. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, he had he had a greater portion. He, uh, yeah, John said he must increase, I must decrease. Increase, yeah. And he said, Whose shoes I'm not uh worthy to unlatch. Unlatch, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um uh, verse 16 it says, In his in his in his fullness have have all we received the grace for grace. It says, for the law, for the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Yeah, grace and truth. That's that you can you can you can only have grace and truth, mercy, love and kindness through Yahweh Shah in the covenant. Mm -hmm. Tells you, tells you those things there there I was no law in Galatians to let you know that. So, you say something, Yashima? So I was gonna say like faith, you know, faith and truth, like faith, like uh what's the word? Mercy. You know, the law didn't have that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You ever watch that movie, um, baby boy you know he got choked out that's the law you, you were getting choked out and you they wanted to bring it right back into the old covenant to get choked out something like we can't we can't we can't like we can't make it to the kingdom through the old not through the old covenant yeah. and if Yahweh Shai is gonna be the king if he's gonna his kingdom if his kingdom's gonna be on earth and his he rule is Yahweh Shai would, why wouldn't you not follow him logically like it's not King David's it's not Moses yeah. it's Yah Yahweh Shai yeah. yeah he gave it to his son this is his Logically, yeah. you would think yeah. with your mind well, that, yo, this is a man we got to follow. This yeah. is his kingdom. Well, that's that stumbling block. Because when the Lord said, blessed is he that keeps my commandments, yeah. they go back to the law of Moses. Even though Matthew 5, the Lord is the, the Lord is bringing them those our changes. Because the scripture yeah. lets you know who the law was for. Yeah. The law was for our wicked men. You had our forefathers. Joseph didn't need a written law or the law of Moses to know not to sleep with part of his wife. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. I Abraham. Um, uh, John 15 and the start of verse 8 Herein is my father glorified That ye bear much fruit So shall ye be my disciples As the father had loved me So have I loved you Continue ye in my love I was going to tell you what that is It says if ye keep my commandments Yeah Read that again It says if you keep my commandments Ye shall abide in my love. And that's what, so if you do, if you keep the, uh, the command of Yahweh Shah, that's how you show you love him. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Directly from Yahweh Shah, right? From Yahweh Shah. It says, uh, if you keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. That's right. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, that your joy may, might be filled. This is my commandment. That ye love one another as I have loved you. Mm -hmm. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life his for friends. his friends. That's right. If ye are my friends, it said, ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I commanded you. Yeah, because like really, if 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 you if you follow somebody, right? If uh, if you, if you call somebody your friends, right? And he tells you to do something, you refuse to do it. He's not your friend. Yeah. No, you're my friend. I told you to do something, you don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you if you if you want to be somebody's friend, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, your house shop, for instance, he has laws, regulation, a uh, rules to follow. Some action, action. That has to back it. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? You don't you don't just say uh, you for your word, but show to your action how you love your house shop by practicing what he what he already established. Yeah. And, and um, going off that, what you saying, loving your enemies, right? If 
if you with some brothers, right, or, or, or some Hebrews and stuff, and all they do is hate, 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 and, and if you say literally the same words your I said, love your enemy, and the first thought in their mind is, fuck my enemy, I hate them, this, that, and the third, then how could your I really be dwelling in you if yeah. the first thought in your mind is to say, I hate you? You're gonna die, you're condemned, you know what I'm saying? You can't be, like, you're supposed you wanna to- You wanna hear something else? Even by you saying that, those same men are gonna look at you funny. Yeah. And that's why the Lord said, listen, if you even have hatred in your heart towards your brother, so they're gonna hate you because you're pushing right. the message oh, no, of the Lord. Man, right. going off. Yeah, yeah, man, it's going off. Reprobate You're becoming a Christian, yeah. yeah reprobate, yeah. Right, actually going off. I'm going off. a reprobate sure. because I believe in the words of Yahweh Shai, but then y'all yeah. take King David's word over Yahweh you know, well, Shai, yeah. so... Yeah. What is that? But Shows then, that then the old man the back because what what we were saying earlier the importance of these men of old prophesied about Yahweh Shai. They understood. Adam knew what the promise was yeah. of Yahweh Shai coming back. Abraham knew the promise. It was told to him that through thy through through thy loins there was gonna come a seed. It's not Isaac and Jacob. It's Yahweh Shai. It tells you yeah. that was gonna bring salvation unto all. Yeah, man, it's showing you that these men of old knew. That's what the gospel always was. The gospel was Yahweh Shai. Because even when you read um, Hebrews and it goes into faith, yeah. the scripture tells you that faith comes with who? Faith yeah. comes with Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Abraham had faith in the promise of Yahweh Shai. Enoch had faith in Yahweh Shai. He prophesied about him back in the old yeah, world. Yeah. They had this understanding. Yeah, bro. It says, uh, not as the seed of many, but as the seed of the Lord, which is Yahweh Oh, Shai. sorry, Moses, who they like to hold on to, even told you. Listen, yeah. man, a yeah. prophet's going to be more than a bunch of brethren. He was letting them know. So yeah. for y'all to hold on to Moses, y'all being called because Moses is even saying, listen, man, like, yeah, bro. Moses, gonna Moses getting caught up in it. He's caught up, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Crossfire, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say y'all uh, real quick, too. Like, it says, love, uh, love your enemies. That had to be established for us to go out and teach on everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and and when they reject the gospel is when you wash your hands from them. But once again, what if you hate, if you already look if you're already looking at, oh, I ain't going I don't, I don't fuck with them, you ain't gonna go teach them. Look, for instance, uh that was uh Jonah. You know what yep, I'm saying? Yep, when yep. he was sent to go uh, uh, prophesy unto Nineveh, he was like, like yo, I'm out of here, bro. He chose to go the opposite way, but he still had to go back. So once again, you're not going to want to teach them. You're not going to deliver that message to them. But that's not, that's not, that's not Yahweh Shah's will. You're going according to your will. And that self and that hatred. And the back you, even after he did it, he was still upset with the Lord. And to show the patience of the Lord, he was like, Lord, just kill me now. Imagine if the Lord was like, I bet. The Lord, what, had that plant grow up over yep, him. Yep. Had the canker worm eat it, yeah. and he was like, "Oh, you feel for the plant?" He was yeah. like, "Yeah." The Lord was basically saying, "Like, how do you feel for something that you didn't create? Yet I created these people. Yeah. Why wouldn't I have mercy yeah. and on not them?" Not just only that, because he had mercy on Jonah when the sun was scorching him, but Jonah didn't want him. Have, so once again, it goes back to in order to receive mercy, you have yeah. to show mercy. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, I was able to, I to right? uh, everything with the Lord is a teaching moments. So the Lord wanted, wanted to feel like, yeah. oh, this, this is how I feel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so that he can, oh, oh, oh okay, now I'm just, your, 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 big, your bigger plane. Now I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, Deuteronomy 18. Hold on, let me, let me grab this one more. So, let me grab one more. So, there's two more. Yeah. Um, it says, henceforth I called you not servants, right. for the service knoweth not, not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. That, whatso that whatsoever you shall ask of my father in my name, he may give it, to, may you. Give it to you. And I once again, going back to if you hated, like you said, love your enemy. If you hated your enemy, there can be somebody that you once again opposed to. It can be any like Agrippa, for instance. You know, yeah. Paul, Paul was preaching the gospel to Agrippa. He's an Edomite. You know, but he was like, yo, listen, I, 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 hope, I wish you could be converted. You know what I'm saying? I hope that you're converted. You know what I'm saying? But once again, if you if you looking at it with that hatred or him as your enemy, listen, you're not allowing the Lord to do his work. Man. Yeah. You're not giving the Lord the opportunity to receive that, 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 that believer. Bro, you know? I, I believe he was sincere when he said that. When he said yeah, that he was sincere. Too. He, you know, and, and he knew what the, he knew what the situation was. He knew he, was he, he had camp, to go to right? jail and die. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, I'm like, you know, when we were part of the camp, right? He says, oh, he was using uh, subtitles. Yeah, but I, yeah. I believe he was sincere. Now, no, no, yeah, yeah, sincere. Yeah. He knew. He said he had, he was ready to die for the gospel. Yeah. The, 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 thrown in prison, so he knew what he was uh, 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 up against. Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't like a mystery. You know what I'm saying? He knew what he signed up for. You know what I'm saying? So once again, once you signed up for, you got to come. You know what I mean? 
Alright, this is my time. I'm gonna go out with a bang. Listen, all you men that's here that's trying to get me, I'm gonna tell you the gospel right yeah. then and there. Yeah. He, he the, said, he yo, you tools, almost yeah. persuaded me to be a Christian. Yeah, yeah. You hey, know yo, man, and that's on his way yeah. out. Like, if you don't kill me, at least I did. <laughs> hey yo, Karam, man, and that's you know? the thing. Not a lot of men know what they're into because if you ain't willing to stand on your talents or your gifts, bro, you ain't gonna die for this thing. Yeah. You ain't gonna die for the truth, bro. Yeah, that's, a, that's what the truth is. Yeah. What men are, what men are, yeah. are intending to build a house, not count the cost. Count the you gotta cost. count the cost, man. Uh, are you willing to give up all your, all your life or for your teaching, man? Yeah. You gotta count the cost, man. When you build a house, when you build a house, you need the chief cornerstone. Yeah, yeah. So if you building the house, building your foundation, you don't got your house shine right there to. Uh, 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 as a foundation, as something that animates your whole doctrine and animates who you are. You know what I'm saying? Then, then you're gonna build your house, build your faith, build your doctrine on hating somebody, want to kill somebody, and not following the commandments yeah. of the Lord, bro. Find out that True. she's bolder than <laughs> True. Right in the world. Yeah, Yo, man, bro. it's heavy witchcraft, man. This is why we see it time and time again. It starts with examining thy thyself. It's up with the scriptures. If you're doing the things that are opposite the Holy Spirit, guess what? The Holy Spirit is not growing. The Holy Spirit's not dealing. Karab, you just read something about the Lord saying your fruit shall remain. You gotta examine yourself if the Lord is taking your fruit away. If the Lord is giving you certain stuff and he's taking back. We're not saying this out of condemnation. We're saying this out of love because the Lord, yo, listen, man, there's consequences. The Lord said about that servant that took his talent and dug it because he was afraid. Who was he afraid of? Of, uh, Who's he afraid of? Of being talk, talking bad about? Uh, yeah, man, and that's why we had made that statement. If you're afraid to preach something that the Lord gave you and your talents, you ain't gonna die for this truth, man. You, you, you can't even take persecution. You can't even take a couple of videos or some ridicule. Yeah, once again, just like Paul, he knew what he signed up for. Yeah. The same thing goes for us. Yeah. We know we can get cast into prison, get put to death for this. So yeah. you have to put your, you know, your life is on the line. Yeah. You're doing it for the Lord. You know, he said, uh, what's it? No, no greater love than him that laid down his life for his friends. Friend. How shall I did it for us? So what more for us to expound and do that for, yeah. for our fellow believers, yeah. you know, for the yeah. brethren? If I may add, right, when, when Paul was into prison, right, was sent to prison, he was happy. He was to be found worthy to suffer a persecution for Yahweh. Peter, yeah. Peter and him, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I, mean, I mean, Peter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, John, yeah. yeah, he was happy, man. And guess what? That's, that's how it should be. Church was praying for him. Yeah. Yeah, that's church was praying for him, yeah. Now so if the church that, stopped. Yeah. They got cast into prison. There was uh, the Lord did a miracle, freed them, and once again they went straight up on the highways. They went straight to the temple, start teaching again. Yeah. You know the same thing that got them cast into prison. Yeah. They went up there, and you know what I'm saying they was like, "Yo, what, what are these men doing up here?" You know what I'm saying? Should, they was gonna grab them up and do some more harm to them, yeah. but then you know some order had to be yeah, established yeah. there. You it know, should, let them should. say they peace, and then once again they preached the gospel on them. Yeah. So it's just showing you. Yeah, that's your character. That's your integrity. I'm saying to, to be put in, in jail for 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 something, and you come, you come out, you, you just you just keep on doing it. Yeah, that's what Paul said. Uh, neither neither angel persecution, no, no none of these things can uh, uh, separate him from the love of Abashiach. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back here, bro. Uh, yeah, I, I want to get there. Yeah, Romans uh, eight verse one, thirty-five. No, this is uh, Romans chapter eight verse thirty-one. Uh, what shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who could be against us? He that has spared not his own son, but deliver him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Yahweh Shai that died, yea, rather that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, whom also maketh intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or pearl or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor debt, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. That's how, that's how firm, that's how firm established forward, man. And that's how we, we're supposed to be. The successors of watch over things for a little more time. Well, that's, all, that's all the apostles, really. All the apostles, yeah. Because when you, when, you, when you go into how the, the apostles died, listen, they, they died to yeah, you know what was about right now? Yeah, but uh, was yeah. he was yeah. laid. They, they, they laid his skin off. Yeah. You know, they, they, that's, who? that's, who uh, had did it? 
Who had did it though? He was some some king. I can't okay. really remember the name, but it's just showing you that he did that pushing the gospel. He got caught teaching the king, okay. you know. And I guess the king was converted. So once again, they knew what was on the line. Yeah. Peter said, "Yo, I, I don't want to be crucified. How the Lord crucified? Yeah. Do it upside do it down." Upside down. Yeah. He he requested a way to Sorry, die. You know spit, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So at the end of the day, you, you know, listen. This I, is ultimately I, showing how how much faith and how much belief they have in the Lord. Isaiah was sort of sudden. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, Jeremiah also went to a pit. Uh, 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 Stephen was uh, was was oh, there. Yeah. And the account told you how Stephen's spirit left his body. And it goes to show the characteristics of what Stephen was preaching. Even on his deathbed, he was basically telling the Lord to forgive them. Read about uh, Antipas the faithful martyr. He was thrown in a brazen bull. You know, for, for once again uh, preaching the, uh, the gospel. So once again, these are things that you're gonna have to go do as men of the Lord, as true men of the Lord. You know, so once again, you ain't gonna, you can't shy away from it. You can't. This is presented to you. You start yeah. backpedaling. That's not what it is. How shy didn't backpedal when he's? Yeah, how shy sat there with his mouth closed and was like, "What you gonna do?" You have to embrace it. Yeah. This is uh, Hebrews 11 and 33. Uh, who through faith should do kingdoms, righteousness, attain promises, stop the mouths of lions, quench the fire, uh, quench the violence of fire, escape the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong. Wax violent in fight, turned to fight the armies of aliens. Women received their dead, rise to life again, and others was tortured, not accepting deliverance that they might tame a better resurrection. And others had trials of cruel markings and scourgings, yea, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawed asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins being destitute, affected, and tormented, of whom the world was not worthy, they wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. And all these, having attained a good report through faith, received not the promise, God having provided some better things of us, that they without us should, should not be made perfect. Yo, I'm in the back here because um, you, you weren't here when we mentioned that earlier. The Bible tells us what faith comes with. Faith comes with Yahweh Shai. So these men had faith in the promise of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai was going to resurrect them. Yeah, faith is a foundation. Yeah. Without faith, it is impossible to please Yahweh Shai. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he you tells know, you it ain't a Moses' law either. If you don't have faith, you're going to lay down your life for, for adoption because you know Yahweh Shai. If you have faith, you know Yahweh Shai is going to be able to raise you up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't have faith, you're not going to be able to do that. Jake uh, has more faith today in uh, men and in Rankin. Because they can see that it's tangible. It's carnal, they know, right. but they can't see you how it's at. So that's why they always run to seeing videos or trying to understand the scripture themselves because they would rather see the video because they know they can see these people. They can break it down, even though they can be breaking down wrong. As long as they can see them, that's good. Yeah. You know, it just lacks faith in you If I mean, I do that's why uh, the scripture says, uh, "Blesses he that have not seen me for body, yeah. bodily eyes, yeah. but believe in the things that we shall have said." So, uh, not being able to see how it's at, but believe in him. That's, 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 that's what it goes with. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 1, it says, But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery. That's just like uh, back in the ancient times, you had the apostles getting beat up for yeah. pushing the word. Every time, like, like you know, uh, you see somebody with a black eye constantly, you're like, damn, dog, like, whatever you're doing, you need to stop. But on, the, on their behalf, they was they was they That's was honored. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was kind of the a Lord said, honor. yeah, badge of honor. It says, um, uh, it no, pleased no. the Most High to bruise His Son. Yeah, yeah. So how much more? Uh, the uh, yeah, the prophets and the yeah. brothers that's pushing, right? Yeah. It says, uh, in, uh, verse three, and they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. Why? Because they're with Yahweh Shai. You know, they know that they have a, 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 a someone that's going to defend them in that day. That's going to be like, hey, you know what? You did what you're supposed to do. Enter into my kingdom. You know, it says, um. Yo, matter of fact, you know what I, it reminded me of? When the witch went to conjure the, the spirit of Samuel. Mm -hmm. Samuel was like, I'm at peace. Why, yeah, yeah. why, 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 you, why are you disturbing here? me? You know what I'm saying? So, Verse 4 says, For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet their hope is full of immortality. So once again, if your hope is full of immortality, listen, like, like brother always say, but why worry about a new? Yeah. Why worry about Esau coming up? Yeah. Why worry about Jake out here uh, pulling out guns and just acting? Why worry about being persecuted for, uh, for, for righteousness sake? You just go ahead and do what you do because you know you're gonna win at the end. 
that's what if I may too, like your home is full of immortality because your legacy is established, yeah. you're gonna be talked about, you're gonna be written about, you know what I'm saying? People are gonna be read about your act, what like, what you did, how what you what you went through when you was uh uh, uh taking part in the ministry, you know? Yeah. I was gonna say and you don't wanna burn forever either. You know, that, that should motivate you to do good. You know, I was watching this video, this atheist. Uh, he looks like he's been an atheist most of his life. He had a uh, near-death experience and he fell into this uh, black void and he fell into hell, he said. He saw all different types of torments for people laid up for them. So like, why would a man who never believed in God his whole life just make that up? You know, you got people... So basically, when I was when I made my video about this, his, you got some men who don't believe in hell, who hold the Bible. So basically, your, 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 um, your faith is equivalent to an atheist Edomite. You know, think about it, because he needed to see it to believe it. Now nah, that's gonna that's that's basically them. That's some men today. They don't believe in hell because they're not there. Yeah. You know, but when you are there, it's gonna be already too late. Too late. Yeah, you got the you got the damn faith of an Edomite. Yeah, this is uh, uh John chapter twenty verse twenty uh twenty verse twenty nine. Mm -hmm. It says, Yahweh shall I said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. Yeah. Yeah. Because because you all know the, the fact that you believe without sin, that's when you're sincere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're sincere about it. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's, that's what the Lord requires. Who was it? The Roman centurion. Right? He said his servant was, uh, I think he was sick or dying off. And then he was like, yo, Lord. Just say I, the word. Yeah, just say the word. Yeah. I believe it off the rip. And he went back yeah. home and it was already done. He yeah. said that same moment. That's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So once again, that, that was show. That was like, damn, bro. That was like amazing. He had faith. He yeah. believed. As a script, well, not as a scripture, so as how like, said, to the house. he has not <laughs> found such faith, no, yeah, not in Israel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hebrews 11 and 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders look to the good report. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so if you have faith, you're going to lay down your life. You're going to do things that are seem impossible to men because you know these are Nothing is impossible with Yahweh Shemesh, you can do all things. Yeah, man, we have mentioned that earlier too. Here you have Abraham. <laughs> okay, okay, now of course, of course. Preaching the gospel. Thank you. So, yep. All right, all right thank you. So going back to it, we have mentioned it earlier about faith is the substance. Here you had Abraham. He didn't get to see Yahweh Shah at yeah. first, but he had he had faith in that promise that there was going to be a seed that was going to be born of him. Yeah. Almost yeah. nobody saw what they was promised. Nobody saw what they was from. Oh, Until he went down. What Job said. He said, at the end, I'm going to see my redeemer. Yeah. Yeah. With these eyes, with these I should see what he seen. Seen him, yeah. seen him man, when he, he went down there. He got delivered but out he of hell. He believed that. He knew what was coming. These eyes, I should see my redeemer. Yeah. 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 Or even Simeon, I was going to get it earlier because you brothers was going into that light. He said, like now I can go, my eyes have see seen salvation. salvation. Yeah. A light unto thy people Israel and a light unto the Gentiles. Yeah, because it did say he was ready to depart, yeah. but the Holy Spirit would go with him for yeah. him to just hold on hold to that, on. That, that important moment. So he yeah. knew it was coming. Right. Right. He knew it was coming. He has, he has to be a witness. He'd have been he like, you know, witness. I ain't waiting no more, bro. This is taking too long. You know what I mean? Like, nah, he knew what time it was. He held fast and he was joyous when he when he when he got to experience that. And he said what he said. This is going to be the rise and the fall of many in Israel. A light into thy people Israel, meaning all of a whole, if you're an Israelite foreigner, yeah. you're thy people Israel, and right. a light to unto the Gentiles. Jake, Jake, you're tricking themselves. That's what it is. See, there's an angel of darkness over you that you can't see simple stuff. Like, the, the Bible is clear. Like, it's not... Yes, the Lord did speak in parables, you know what I'm saying, which was for some, but, you know, nobody's trying to trick you, brothers, you know? If the Gentiles are gonna come, the Gentiles are eventually gonna worship Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Every knee shall bow. You know? We got the sister foundation on earth, the whole the whole plane of the most high for 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 humanity to, to bow down to him. Yeah. It says, uh, what's that? In Ecclesiastes it said, for this is the whole duty of men. Yeah. That they should uh, fear Yahweh Shem Yahushai and keep his commandments. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. once again, that doesn't just apply to yeah. certain people. That's everybody, bro. That's give across him, the board. Yeah, you give niggas the law to gatekeep it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You by default, you, by gatekeeping, and you keeping people wicked. Yeah. You know yeah. what? You, you want people out here worshiping idols, and yeah, they want to beat up on. Plus, you got blood on your hands because 
if a wicked man of a person or another nation dies, what standard are they going to be held to if the Lord gave you that standard to push? Yeah, there's a different standard. There's no difference. Like, like they're just heathen, the heathen, so the Lord's just going to... He's going to judge them with the same book. He gonna judge them. It tells you that in Romans. The whole point of Romans was to, to let you know that they're going to be judged in accordance to the same thing we're going to be judged. Those with the law are going to be judged without the law. Without the law are going to be judged with the law. If you are light, if you put a light on a, on a, on a rooftop, it's for everybody to see. Yeah. So, so that they can know where, they, where, where to go. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah. Is, yeah, that's the house shot, man. He's that light. It's that's why light. I was all Egypt was all filled up with darkness. You look over in Goshen, there's fucking lights is on. Yeah. 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 They can't find yeah. Pharaoh's daughter because she over there. Pharaoh's daughter's son. She over there with Jake. Darkness. Yeah. 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 We're making moves over there to Israel's house. Like, all right, we're going over there. Right. That's why I was like, yo, we're going to roll out with y'all. Like, you know, something's going on over here. They all the plagues. They're like, yo, we out here. Big cattle's dying with Jake. Yeah, cat firstborns is dying. Pharaoh's like, yo, bro, not just only they leave it, but they taking my people too. Yeah. Shit, go get them all. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Where's my daughter? Where's my daughter? Can you that, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pharaoh's daughter? That was my daughter. That was but my I'm daughter. saying, then, but she adopted Moses, didn't she? Yeah. She took after Moses. That was a, that was she a took care deed. of Moses, that was a good right? Deed. Yeah. So what, she can't come with us? Oh, nah, you a heathen. Or Moses' wife couldn't leave Egypt neither? Or Rahab, they can't fathom Rahab, so they got to make up that that's a scattered oh, Israelite. Is Israelite. Even know. though we were all together coming out the wilderness. Yeah, and it says only, the only ones from that generation was uh, Caleb and uh, Joshua. But somehow Rahab snuck out from the camp and snuck across the gates and started operating a whorehouse to receive the spies. You guys are crazy. What about Ruth? I should put away yeah, my God about, about yeah, and my people. Nobody knows who Cornelius is all of a sudden. Definitely please come to the house of Jacob. Yeah, well, that's for sure. Definitely please. She said, yo, you your God. people gonna be my people. Your God gonna be my God. I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah. I'm following you. Where you going, I'm going to. Not a big deal. It says, and we go to Revelation the 21st chapter. It tells you, the nations that are saved shall, shall walk in the light. Yeah. And that's actually, um, that's right along with Isaiah 60, if you look at it. Because yeah. it says, talk about, um, the Lord, there uh, there be no sun or moon. The Lord's the everlasting light. Yep. The nations flowing into it, and then yep. Isaiah sixty talks about the same thing. Yeah. So it's like it's sim the same vision. <laughs> and, and we talk about oh, heathens gonna serve us this, that, and the third. But how the hell the heathen gonna serve us if they all um, if, they, if they can't be saved? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. If they're all right. the goats, right. when the Lord's gonna take yeah. the goats all and the, destroy they, they, them, all in the fucking lake of fire. Who's gonna be the <laughs> yeah. servants yeah. and handmaids? Talking about we ain't gonna get our hands dirty for next week. Matter of fact, man, that yeah, goes yeah. back to what we didn't get to finish in Second Ezra one, because it goes back to, like you know, Israel is not guaranteed so, salvation. Yeah. They're not. That's why Moses said, "Yet this day choose ye life or death." Let it be known. But just to go back there, because we was reading mm -hmm. in Second Ezra one, yep. um, this is. Let me start here. Bear with me, Akim. Let me get a foot in. Uh, the one in thirty-five. Twenty-five. Thirty-five. No, I'm at one in thirty-five, but we we didn't get to get. Uh, it says this. Um, okay, verse 23, 22, twenty-two. We'll go back. It says, "Thus saith the Almighty Lord, when you were in the wilderness in the river of the Amorites, being a thirst and blasphemy in my name, I gave you not fire for your blasphemies, but cast a tree in the water, and made the river sweet. What shall I do unto thee, O Jacob?" Thou Judah, wouldest not obey me, I will turn me to other nations. You call them by names. <laughs> to make sure. You, yeah, so you, you, make can, sure you, know that way, you can't, you you can't Israelite foreigner your way out of this. <laughs> I'm going to reread that again. Yeah. It says this. It says, what shall I do unto thee, O Jacob? Thou Judah, wouldest not obey me, I will turn me to other nations, and unto those will I give my name, and they may keep my statutes. Seeing ye have forsaken me, I will forsake you also. When ye desire me to be gracious unto you, I shall have no mercy upon you. Get Deuteronomy chapter 20, uh, 32, verse 20. Deuteronomy 32, 20? Yep. Deuteronomy 32, verse 20. And he reads, um, and he said, I will hide my face from them. I will, I will see what the end shall be, for they are a very forward generation, children, children in whom is no faith. 
they have moved me to jealousy which that which is not a god they have provoked me to anger with their vanity and i'll move them to jealousy with those which are not the people i'll provoke them to anger with a foolish nation now this is deuteron this is deuteronomy we're all in the land who is the people that he's going to provoke us with jealousy that is not a people this is a precept to what's being read right here once again what shall i do unto thee o jacob thou judah wouldest not obey me i will turn me to other nations and unto those will i give my name that they may keep my statues yep yes sir yes sir first king chapter 8 verse 40 yep that they may fear thee all the day that they live in the land when thou gavest unto our father yep over concerning a stranger that is not of thy people Israel. Yeah, a stranger. I heard a guy say that the stranger that is not of thy people Israel is talking about the Israelite foreigners. How? It's not of thy it's people, people Israel. Israel. Yeah, it's like this is basic reading, fourth grade level 101. That and the understanding that, once again, northern and southern kingdom was all together. Right. At the peak of King Solomon's right. kingdom. You know? There was no scattered nobody. All Israel was in the land of Israel. At best this time, the best kingdom, the best kingdom known on, in the known world at this time. You think Israel gonna leave to go somewhere else? Right, the you slaves know? was eating <laughs> back then. Yeah, they need a read along. You know, yeah. like you know, when you had a student, there was a kid in my class that couldn't read. The teacher would read like this. Yeah. And, you know, like this, is, it's not hard. Yeah, read along. Read, 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 read that again, bro. Yeah. Moreover, concerning a stranger, yeah. that is not of thy people Israel. That is not of thy people. That means a stranger that is not of thy, thy people Israel. Israel. That means these whoever these people are talking about, they Israel. are not of Israel. Yeah. Israel consists of the twelve tribes. Jacob start that Jacob had. Jacob, which is the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel. Okay, go ahead, bro. But cometh out of a far country for thy namesake. Yeah, they're gonna come from. These people are gonna come. Believe it or not, guys. The Lord has the power to have people come from a far nation because of his namesake. Believe it or not, these people are going to fear the Lord. This is an actual thing that is going to happen. Go ahead. For they shall hear of thy great name and of thy strong hand and of thy stretched out arm when he shall come and pray towards this house. Hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place and do according to all that the stranger calls thee to do. Mind you, this is King Solomon. And this is a prayer that King Solomon had uh, gave up when they had first opened the temple they dedicated the temple so this was a beautiful prayer that solomon is saying he's saying like look when 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 an, an, uh, somebody that's from another nation come to israel and 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 let hear their prayers all right go ahead that all people of the earth may know thy name to fear thee as do thy people israel yeah as do thy people so they could know the name and they could fear the heavenly father it's a, it's a clear separation as do thy people israel and you had the, the top the top dog in the camp say that that's talking about Israelite fullness. It goes to show you the state that you can get. You guys are carnal. You guys are real carnal. There's nothing spiritual at all about you. You got to have the spirit of the Lord to be able to, to break down basic, uh, simple scriptures, man. Nice. That they may know that yep. this house, yep, go ahead, go ahead. which I have built, is called by thy name. Yeah, go ahead, bro. You got something? Yeah. Um, Isaiah 49, verse 6. Indeed, he says, it is too, it is too small a thing that you should be my servant to rise up the tribes of Jacob and to reserve the preserved ones of Israel. I will also give you as a light to the Gentiles that you may be my salvation to the ends of the earth. So, he's, so he said, thing. yeah, it's a small thing for him to do, right. which is that light of the Gentiles is Isaiah, the 60th chapter. Yeah. Oh, that's talking about the... How, how is Isaiah the 14th chapter talking about the Israelite foreigners too? That's crazy. So in, in contents of what the scriptures are saying, the Israelite foreigners are going to be our, our, our servants and handmaids. They're going to be the ones cleaning up the... They're the ones that oppressed us, so we're going to oppress... They, we're going to oppress them. It's a bipo bipolar doctrine. Yeah, By, it, it, When you want to look at it this way when it serves you, then the other right, way... Right, right, right. Does it make sense? <laughs> Does it... That math doesn't math. It don't add up. Yeah, is not to conclusion. Yeah, and it's a beautiful story that's being told. Why, why are you guys afraid to tell the story that's being told? It's a beautiful story that's being told. You don't have to twist it and add to it. 
when you add to it, the scripture says the Lord is going to add unto you the plagues that's written in it. And when you take away from it, he's going to take away your name out of the book of life. You got these leaders telling you that it's not possible for your, you as an Israelite to have your name taken out of the book of life. Or you can't, Israel can't blaspheme the Holy Spirit because they think that Israel is going to come back in the kingdom of heaven. The two thirds, so it's one false doctrine. You have to tell another lie, then another lie. But hold on. When Moses came back down, the Lord said, I'm going to block certain Israelites out of out of that book. Yeah, I mean, if I may add, matter of fact, before he came down, the Lord was like, Moses, Moses, our people are going people up. Down there That's why he came said, down, your people, yeah. Your people are down there acting up. He said, that ain't my people. Oh, bless you. <laughs> 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 and the whole earth opened up, though. The Lord swallowed mad Israelites, yeah, yeah. destroyed mad Israelites. 3,000. was opposed to Moses. Yeah. Yeah. Matter of fact, Moses asked, Lord, can you, the Lord said he had already plotted their yeah. name out of the book of Oh, I'm going to go, he's like, yo, I'm going to go up and make intercession for y'all. The Lord's like, yeah, man, they out of there. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> they out of there. Out. Not but they tell you that they didn't, want it, they didn't want this to happen. I don't know why, it's crazy. Somebody took a, Somebody took that coin. Somebody took that payoff, man. Somebody took that, somebody, yeah, a few of them took that payoff, man. Y'all took that purse. Y'all took that Judas purse. So ain't no way in hell y'all, we reading the same Bible. Y'all got men petrified. Men are petrified to even come out and speak the truth. These men are petrified. It's true, man. Trusting in Yahweh Shai ain't for the weak. Yeah, it is. It ain't for the weak. I need that money, Jake. <laughs> 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 Y'all took that bag, man. Y'all took that bag. Put a curse on these men. Yeah. <laughs> he said, hold on. Y'all said I said not to curse. What I said? What I said? He said, we the door. He said, who's the door? Y'all was shot at the door. No, we the door. Yeah, y'all was shot at the door. <laughs> Debo got mind control of me. Debo got mind control. Y'all gotta get it back, man. He said, yeah, he said, yeah, yeah, how is the door? No, we the door. They gotta come to us. That was Moses. Moses sought to justify himself, man. He struck the rock and he was walking around like he did it on his own, man. But that goes to show you that that law, that's what that produces. When you think that you could be made right through the law, you're saying that you're justifying yourself. And you don't need your how side. You know, that you can do it. But the law, the law, what does the law say? If you break one, you break, break them all. all yeah. So my question to you guys that claim the new covenant but teach Moses, how? How? How can you do it? You can't. You can't. We're not justified by the works of men. When the fruits of the Spirit tell you that there's no law. So how do you possess the fruits of the Spirit in yeah. Moses' law? And it's the law of Moses. Yeah, come. Hey, so with that, we hope and pray that that was edifying. We want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, Peace, love, and salutations to the Bayafta with God. Shalom to you, brothers. That's pushing the gospel, the true gospel, the new covenant. Tell you, brothers, to keep pushing. Till next time, we say shalom. Shalom.